If you're a weeb once, there is no leaving. Unbeweavable. Wow, this is loud. Alright, I can't... Hmm. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna send out the at everyone on, on Discord, and then I'm gonna go put my contacts in because I can't see shit today for some reason. So give me a moment. Ooh, did it fuck up the link? No, it's there. Okay. All right, you're back. One second. I think we're okay. Hey, hey, how's it going, Dark Flashes? I don't believe this game is really that long. Joe is simply going at a slow pace. Yeah, uh, so I have to read everything out loud, and there's always going to be stream interruptions as well. So, yeah, I'm going to say that it's probably taking me at least 50% longer than the actual playtime of the game. Maybe even longer than that. That's better, I can see better now. Uh, the, the computer monitors I use for chat are further away from me than the the one that the game is on, so it's, it's better if I have my contacts on. Okay, so uh, this game got a patch, and it seems like now he holds his thing up instead of it being um, on his side, and uh, it didn't switch to windowed mode instead of full screen when I booted it up, so they fixed some problems. Maybe they fixed some of the typos too, not sure. But yeah, I got a patch. Okay, take stuff bird to guard. Dead body on the boardwalk. Call jam raw public library information. All right, so there's a bunch of shit that we need to do. All right, where are we? We're down here. I remember seeing the church as a boardwalk. We went further to the left. I had a bottle of pills stuck in my hand forever after the patch, really. Looks like we avoided the, whatever bug that was. We did this last time, right? It was the lineup for the execution. Yes. Nothing new with Kim. Oh 
my window isn't set up properly. One second. Hey Jojo, my name is pronounced as the way it's spelled from Lineva. All right, Lineva. Why hasn't he convinced Kimmy out? Because it doesn't seem like something that that Yusuke Art Cop would do. Uh, Fritz Imperial, are you here? Yeah, you just cashed it in. All right, Fritz Imperial, who's the lucky lady? 2B, oh man, this is the first time that anyone has claimed 2B. Uh, and that's it, that's the last time no one else can ever claim 2B because Fritz Imperial did it. Congrats, Fritz Imperial, congrats. 2B is best girl and is the waifu of Fritz Imperial and no one else. And no one else. Should he get two people? No, it's on the 29th that we're doing the double monocoin thing. I'm supposed to be going to work. You're not going to miss much, Jake. Don't worry. I don't think this is a Jake game. No, you like to read, so maybe you would let you would enjoy this game. But maybe you wouldn't enjoy it as a game. I think the stream is going to be too slow for you, though. There's another trap. This is the trap Moral just set. Checking it over, he said, is just a technicality. But look around the reads about the abandoned campsite hiss and shake in the lazily falling rain. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out, you feel strange somehow. Reach for the trap. The trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another empty trap. The lieutenant takes a note more out of habit than duty. Let's keep going. The next one is the lucky one. How are you enjoying the cardio, Lieutenant? I'm quite enjoying it myself. Again, I want to be absolute want to make it absolutely clear that I don't really believe the phasmid exists, okay? Of course, noted. He looks at you incredulously as you place the trap back in the reads. I like the word incredulous. Did Mandalore ask you to do anything for his video? Nope. The gothic one? I saw it, but I haven't watched it. Uh, I can't remember if we briefly spoke about gothic or, gothic or not. Last time I spoke to Mandalore was about Total Warhammer 2. Okay, we spoke to you. Okay, so I'm hoping at some point down here we loop back to a place where I've sinned before and I'm gonna go, oh, I know where we are. Hey, Pink Asparagus, how's it going? Oh, I know where we are. All right, nice. All right, so that's where we got the bird. Uh, let's talk to everyone that we missed last time. People are going to like this one, especially Q2. Especially. It's very, dare I say, it's very JoJo. Dare I say, not knowing anything about JoJo. What do you think, chat? Am I right? Not even remotely? Really? More like Death Note? What the hell is that? Do you think that the book collector is a funny way to say you are a communist because you don't know where the two real come from and so you don't understand the economy? 
Uh, was, was that the boat collector? I thought it was... Not one more door. Wompty Dompty Dom Center. There you go. Yeah, this is the communist one. Wompty Dompty Communist. I, isn't, isn't JoJo the one with the hand in front of his face? Damn, you skate styling. Thank you, Q2. I can't believe you've kept this up. I can't believe it. I don't know how you've managed it. Let's shrink it down. We'll definitely do a, uh, a, a poll at the end of the playthrough to see which one people like the most. There you go. That's it there, right? It needs to be a little smaller, maybe. No, it was better the way it was before. There we go. There we go. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, it could be a little better. That's, a, that's okay. That's okay. Wow, my chair is even squeakier than usual today. Squeaky, squeaky chair. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. <sighs> Other twin. Was there someone in the house I've forgotten about? Was that Lillian? The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother kick the stone uh, with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. Hey, where's your mom? Is your is little Lily your sister? Point to the house. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's it. You're being laconic about it. Okay. Yes. You guys look identical. The stone kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden, as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just stated. He looks just like me, the other one says. Yeah, I said that. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. Both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt. You're bad with kids, the lieutenant remarks with evident glee. Damn, Kim's coming out of his shell. And what are you, Kid Master General? Maybe I am, he grins. Now how about some actual police work? We're not getting anything out of here. Hey, where is your mom? The kids don't reply, absorbed in their little game. Alright, see you kids. I like Kim. Kim is the best boy. Is Kim better than Yusuke? Dare we dare we yes. even go there? Hi, Jakaila! A 37 man clad in a two-piece Lycra TM tracksuit. Is that like the new Adidas? Puts down his Pilsner and extends his hand in greeting. Good to see you. How's business? How's the old reality situation treating you? Shake his hand. So what's happening? He picks up his beer. Wait, tequila? Yeah, tequila sunset. He takes How a are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? He says it like it's obviously your name. Like you call someone Billy Brun Brunel or leader of the 4th Street Gang. Success. Good, these people know your true name. Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. More on that later. Not too hot. I'm on a 50-year losing streak. Reality, it makes me aggressively sad. Don't know. People tell me I'm a cop. I'm getting used to that. I have re-entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. I am the law. Uh, three. It's good to hear you on top of things. Talking about the use, did you know that I used to be a real mover and shaker? He thoughtfully picks at the at his shit-stained liquor TM jacket. Sadly, things ain't going that well in idiot Doom Spiral Land. Haven't found those keys yet. Haven't won that great piece of ass back. No word from my business buddies. He takes a sip from his beer. Idiot Doom Spiral, huh? This is bound to be good. High concept conversation at last. What do you guys do around here? We are saving the world, he looks at his comrades. Please, please don't call, don't call, don't call, begs the man in the pipe. Okay, what? We're drinking. We're drinking alcohol, that's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once a long time ago with enterprise, creativity, and willpower, but that didn't work out. So, it's a pirate's life for me. What is Tequila Sunset? You keep saying it. It's you, your Tequila Sunset. How do you know this? We've met before, don't you remember? Aw, oh, nice. Nice. No, you sure don't. No. Aha, he takes a sip from his beer. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? 
Tequila, Tequila Sunset, something ominous there. For some reason, the name Tequila fills me with foreboding. Maybe I shouldn't learn what it means. You think you feel bad now? Wait till you've heard the story. No, no, you don't. You you need the wisdom. Go ahead. All right, time to time to take a, a morale hit. Mm hmm. Let me take a bit. Let me take a sip. Uh, to moisten up my cords, he takes a big sip, then begins. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday, and by te Tequila Sunset, I mean you, the man, the myth, the lore. Wait, did we meet on Friday? Hey, let's not jump ahead. Do we, did I did I do that on mainstream yet, or was it just Q and A? Did I tell you the guys the awesome Mandalore, the the awesome Mandalore merch idea that I had? Did I show you Did I show you guys that? Wow, my chair is squeaking like crazy. And then I and then I sent it to Shammy, and he didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the t-shirt i think you did did i that it wasn't mainstream was it really did i do it on tuesday i know i did it on saturday did i do it on tuesday i don't remember doing it on tuesday did i really do it again all right all right Do it again. All right. So, you know this kind of shirt? Everyone knows this kind of shirt, right? The man, the legend, right? Everyone knows this shirt, right? Okay. All right. So, how about instead? Eh? Right? That's good, isn't it? Isn't that good? That's amazing. I would wear that. <laughs> uh, you would outside. Of course, I would wear that outside under a sweater. Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. He takes another sip, then continues. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz, because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is that you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer and that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head right in front of <laughs> So we, we have a history of doing that. <laughs> We've died twice like that, haven't we? That's pretty high concept if you ask me. It is. Your partner's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. Please continue. Oh yeah, not the first time this comes up. Cough awkwardly. Hey man, I'm not judging. He waves the bottle towards you. This life's a value of, of woes. Some of the highest concept people in history have killed themselves and been drunks. I mean... Yeah, that's... Huh. Fuck. Oh, man. Either way, it was a late Sunday, Saturday night when uh, we, the union of moribund alcoholics, got our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. Do you remember the sound of wood crack cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises pique, our, pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Naturally. Anyway, there was a brief silence, a gasp of silence, if you will, followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis. <laughs> I love the word brewskis. And rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold, a beat-up police carriage containing you right there on the beach. You revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs. The, tie the time hath come. The time hath come. So naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come, to which you replied, The time hath come for tequila sunset, the end of all things. Oh god, what happened next? Say nothing, The more it's more dignified that way. Every word I said was true, tequila sunset will break the looms of reality. Oh god, what happened next? Your reality co contracted, you jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty and, and through the ice. 
We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. Orphan of cause. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. I wonder what would happen if we had done this before we investigated the carriage. In this way, you and your motor carriage have a lot in common. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we call you that from then on. Wait, so is Tequila Sunset an event or a name? Tequila Sunset, huh? Sounds pretty good. My real name is Harry. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother. How long did we party for? Hours. It was an all-night drink-a-thon. Then at some point, I think it was Saturday, Sunday, Sunday morning. Wow, I got mixed up again. You got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revachalian women. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up and left without saying anything. Wow, that's quite a story. Yeah, I bet Tequila is a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with it. <laughs> if only, if you only knew. <laughs> I really like this game. Did I tell you anything? Did I tell you anything specific about this person that fucked me? You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard and that we've all been fucked too. Please don't open that door. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Abigail. Don't call me Abigail, says Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Did I mention losing anything else? Besides your gun and your badge, you said something about your hope. Your hope, or heart, or something. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too. That's a big one. Anything about my colleagues? You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. It's more like you were cramping theirs. No specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. Did I say anything about the case? Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. He takes a strong, um, quaff or quaff? Quaff or quaff? I think it's quaff, isn't it? It's almost certainly quaff. It's quaff, right? Quaff. Yeah, it's quaff. All right. And that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. It's not meant as a joke. He's sorry for the hermit cop. Did we talk about um, politics? No, not really. You talked about some sad churches and how everyone's just out to fuck you. Did you get a read on what kind of cop I was? You kept apologizing for being such a bad cop and for the damage you've inflicted on everyone around you. Aw, oh, damn, even back then we were a sorry cop. You also kept pausing to knock the heel of your hand against your temple saying, stupid, stupid, stupid. So is that is that determined on... Oh, that'd be interesting. If if you were... If I was more like of an art cop, I wonder if that would have been art cop. Because we're a sorry cop, so that would be... We were sorry back then. That would be kind of a, uh, a clever way of uh, making your choices more in line with, with the kind of person we were before. What the fuck is this? That looks interesting. Is that like a beer dolly? I don't need to hear any more conclude. He nods. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. You seem like you're characterized by your storytelling ability. Want to tell me another one sometime? whoop de doo So now I'm a fucking storyteller, he says, slapping his knee. Right, why not? Better than a beach bum. Yes. Want to tell me how you became idiot doom spiral? No, actually, I've heard enough stories for a lifetime. They S-U-C-K. Goodbye. Uh, one. It depends, really. Are you willing to help me out? You might get scammed here. I have a feeling this is going to cost me a lot. No, the reality of the situation requires a rather modest contribution, a little motivational package. So th this is how being on the other side of the barrel feels, what you need. Booze, did you already forget our party? He taps his finger to his temple, the thing I relayed to you earlier. So, have you got anything for good old idiot doom spiral? A bottle for a story seems fair to me. I've got some potent pilsner, give it. I've got some sweet Commodore Red, give it. Um, I think, let's give him the potent pilsner. Not much, but it'll do. He grabs the bottle from your hands, hand and uncorks it immediately. Before you can start, one of the other bum, one of the other bums interjects. Hey, spiral boy, you gonna share that? Don't call, don't call Abigail. Oh, not don't call me Abigail. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. He turns to you. Something happened to you. Something happened to me, too. My actual name is George, but around here you already know. George and Harry. 
I was once a reasonably high net worth individual, founder slash junior partner at a high concept creative services agency. When my story begins, I had just landed a major contract with an insurance firm. I used the I used the profits from my agency to finance what I called a cultural incubator, abstract value generation, value per person, high concept stuff. I developed the paradigm, worked with the paradigm, but the burden of leadership and weighed heavily on me with heavily on me so I went jogging every so often to keep myself sane wait how many people did you have working for you 22 full-time employees an all-star team a potentially historic set of individuals worrying about them often kept me up well into the morning hours did the jogging help it did with my trusty sensory tracksuit I felt like I could conquer the world but now dreams are worn thin, much like my tracksuit, he says thoughtfully, brushing dust off his shit-stained pants. What happened? One day I left on my evening run. As you may know, it's impossible to clear your head when you're distracted by the sound of keys jangling in your pockets. This is true. He shakes the bottle and makes a ringing, ringing sound. His eyes are clouded, his dilated blood vessels encircling his irises like stinging brambles. <sighs> Good line. His eyes are your eyes. So I removed the key ring, specialized, and put the keys for the front gate on and the apartment into different pockets to stop the jangling, you see. At least that was the plan. I was halfway done with my usual lap when it started to rain. The reality the reality situation the reality situation became very wet very quickly. Eh, how wet are we talking exactly? Wet, okay? It was raining really hard. There's a trace of derision in his voice. Did you lose your keys and you're like, fuck it, I guess I'm a fucking drunk now? I made my way back home and discovered that I didn't have the key to the front gate. I mixed it with the key to the letterbox, which was useless. Wait. Naturally, the situation required me to climb over the gate, which I did. There was no climbing down because I slipped and landed on my ass. Ouch. Was that? I would have landed on my feet. I have I have feline reflexes. Ouch, indeed. Reality was looking rather grim just then. Me lying on my ass in the mud pit in the middle of a heavy shower. But when life knocked me down, I always got up. So I made my way across the yard, standing in front of my apartment door, fumbling with my pockets. I realized I'd also forgotten my apartment key. You've got to be shitting me. He turns his head toward the, towards the skies and says, I wish I were, Tequila. I wish I were. Instead of my apartment key, I'd taken the key to the office. So what happened next? I ran my neighbor's buzzers. It was late. Most of them didn't even answer. Those who did assumed I was trying to sell them something and hung up before I could even explain the situation. People are naturally wary of admin. You see, one moment someone chats you up. Five minutes later, you brought a box of edible laundry. <laughs> Lingerie and a strap on what I don't begrudge them especially since I was known to be one of the best he pauses meaningfully heavy is the head that wears the crown just then I experienced a moment of clarity I still had the key to my office I could wait out the storm there but when I reached my office I remember that I had asked one of my producers to change the locks that day and since I hired only the best he'd already done it and I couldn't get in anyway long story short life life spiraled out of control what I haven't gotten to my apartment for years and my girlfriend left me because she didn't want to date a homeless man the company well you see I would you see where I'm going with this so now you've heard my tragic tale what do you think like nothing you ever heard huh he takes a long swig of his drink Wait, is that it? I feel like there's some steps missing. Yep. Tequila, I've thought about this series of events for a long time. If there was anything else to it, I would have thought of it by now. Why didn't you go to the authorities? Well, at one point they came to me, but you know, I didn't have any ID on me, so they tossed me in jail for two days. I can't say it increased my faith in the RCM. No offense, gentlemen. He shakes his head. I'm almost homeless myself. Doesn't seem so bad. Look on the bright side. You've got one hell of a story. You do realize this is all your fault. I literally can't believe it. Me neither, Tequila. When I lost my keys, I lost more than, more than access to my apartment. I also lost my leverage over humanity. I wasn't a high concert creative director anymore i was just some homeless asshole in a premium sans guess licra tm tracksuit you can't imagine what that does to a man's confidence he turns his eyes to the bottle anyway that was all the story one bottle gets you that was all the story one bottle gets you okay it's fine I'm just reading it badly almost empty this one why do you keep losing all your stuff good fucking question tequila if i knew the answer you think i'd be hanging out on a beach in this formerly premium but now extremely dirty two-piece licra tm tracksuit <laughs> I used it to own my uh, reality situation. My business buddies and I had our own creative services agency. I had a nice apartment and even nicer piece of ass, but somehow it all got away from me. Now I can't hang on to anything. Just last week, I stole this new nice jacket, but then I lost it too. The only things I haven't lost are these two drunks. You of all people should empathize with this. Perhaps this lost jacket is something you could help with. 
what was the name of your agency? My agency man, he takes a long melancholic sip. The Boom Boom Room. Our concept was combining high art with the lowest forms of marketing, the color red, breasts, and oil painting. I convinced my partners to reinvest some of our profits in an even more high concept cultural incubator called Thin Air. The artists were happy. The clients were happy. I was financing a group of poets in East Revachal who were developing a new universal poetic language, but then it all went to shit. He looks toward the bay. Sounds intriguing. What say you, art cop? If it sounds like it makes no sense, that's because it doesn't. The female isn't yours to objectify, not in art nor anywhere else. Mixing oil painting and breasts to make ads isn't high art. It's just cynical wankery. That's so high concept, I have no idea what it means. Man, mixing high and low, com commodifying culture, that is extremely my shit. Right, okay, never mind that I asked. Uh, art cop would be number two, right? For sure. Nothing is good enough for art cop. Well, you know, sex sells. That's the first rule of advertising. Maybe, but it's still tired. Yeah, actually, you're right. Let the market sort it out. No need for me to regulate this stuff. Maybe, but it's still tired. Maybe you're right. Who knows? Maybe we were, we were behind the curve. We were fucking rich, though. That much I know. What's up with the tracksuit? This is a red check? What, you never seen 100% liquor before? Go on, feel that primo, primo material. The man extends his arm. Why is this? Uh, okay. Good God, it's nearly impossible to describe how dirty this texture is. It's like rubbing two jellyfish skins together. You feel about 15% less human for having touched it. Randomized trials have also found Lycra TM to be associated with a number of exotic, highly malignant cancers. So you also have to have that to look forward to. And then there's the smell. You don't even, but you don't even want to think about that. Pretty nice, huh? This might be one of the last of its kind. Should probably be in a museum, honestly. He takes another sip. Wow, you're lucky. He never lets me feel it. That's because your paws are fucking filthy, Rosie. We're right next to the bay. You could wash them any time. What about the other drunks? My fellow members of the Union of Moribund Alcoholics are exactly what they look like. Hey, tequila, you want to buy some speed? Shut the fuck up, Rosemary. He's a cop, remember? I thought he was a cool cop. Don't call Abigail. And this is Abs. He points to the man in... In the, in the pipe? Oh, right. Uh, so, yeah. That's basically us. We drink together. What's this about the Lost Jacket Tequila? It's a verifiable tragedy. It was practically brand new. Sure, it didn't really go with my liquor TM threads, but it did itch a lot less. He looks at you bleary-eyed. Say you're a detective, right? Maybe you can help old Doom Spiral out. Solve the case of the missing jacket. What do you say, Tequila? Wait, you're asking a police officer to help you find a, find a jacket you stole and then lost? Okay, sure. Where'd you lose it? If I'm... If I knew where I lost it, don't you think I'd have it? I mean, maybe I was up by the boardwalk or walking along the beach or checking out the abandoned fish market. Somewhere north of here, that's for sure. You could ask around, see if anyone's seen it. Let me ask you something else. Be seeing you. Okay, so I guess we can exchange booze for, for stories from him. Is there any other reason for booze? Well, we have th oh, we have three skill points. Holy crap three skill points so we can start replacing some thoughts if we don't really like them even i wonder if anyone's gotten ev unlocked every single every single thought the homosexual underground nice all right so um was there something we should check let me see if uh if we can talk to these guys Grumbles an unshaven man with a ruddy nose. He narrows his eyes at you as if in recogni recognition. Then he turns his head away. The noxious odor emanating from the drunken man is strong Don't and familiar. You cool though, you oh my I god! You can talk to all three of them. Holy shit! Okay, let me let me say thank you to some to some subs before um, I get behind. One second. Do 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 do. Who was last last time? Oh, excuse me. Did I say thank you to Ticken4922 at the end of last stream? Maybe I didn't. Thank you for the two month resub. Hi, Joe. Thank you, Ticken. I'm not sure. Smitty W. I think I said Smitty W. Mules are cool. Three month, how are you? For, how, three month resub, how are you? 
Hmm. I can't remember the last person I said thank you to. I think there was someone that subbed right at the end of the stream and I felt bad that I didn't see it. Maybe it was uh, Mules Are Cool. Uh, since we started, thank you Get Hall one for the 2 month 3 sub, thank you very much. Thank you Shashwami for the 22 month 3 sub, thank you very much. Carlos Strife has resubscribed for 17 months. Hey Joe, I'm dating a girl who was born in Japan now. Does that make me a weeb? Love you. Um, I think chat has to decide on that. I don't know. I'm going to say no. That's not enough. <laughs> thank, thank you for the uh, the message, Carlos. Uh, thank you... Janchi Janch oh my god I'm sorry Janchi Bananchi Janchi Bananchi maybe that sounds right it sounds like it has a rhythm to it I think that's it for the new server prime I'm sorry for butchering your name thank you very much welcome to Pelt Patrol slash um uh pickle jar I'm not sure I'm gonna move on because I'm a little embarrassed for butchering that name uh thank you SC Mon for the three month three sub with the message test test successful thank you SC Mon Thank you, Glogan Bart, for the 713 sub. Hey Joe, love your work. Any chance I can get a cringy birthday shout for my for my 22nd? Happy birthday, Glogan Bart. Happy birthday to you. I went to the zoo. They only had one animal. It was a shih tzu. There you go. There you go. It was a dog. Twenty-two is a fairly big birthday. Congrats on getting there. Uh, thank you, Fatal Cutie, for the 313 sub. Hey, Dragon Daddy, be sure to give Kim a kiss. All right, then. Thank you, Fatal Cutie. Kim is, Kim is not for lewd. Not for lewd. Thank you, Elephant Doom, for the 2513 sub with a message. Hello, hello, Elephant Doom. Hope you're well. Thank you very much. Thank you, One and Olaf, for the new sub of Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much, one and Olaf. And last but not least is Lamb FGC for the 26 month resub. Thank you very much, Lamb FGC. Hope you're well. Okay, so how long is this conversation going to be? I, I like the, the, the pacing of that conversation, the one we just did. You know, there was some more stuff to talk about, but it was mostly direct. I wish there was more of that in, in the game. I feel like a lot of the conversations go on for a bit too long, but... I don't know. Maybe that's because I'm reading it out loud. Don't you call her, you hear? Don't call Abigail. I am the law. Who is Abigail? Oh, Abigail. Don't you fucking call Abigail. He draws out a disgusting snort, then mumbles, waving a finger in your general direction. You're not going to get anything from this guy who's too drunk. Who are you? What's your name? His eyes move around erratically, the look in them hazy and unfocused. Don't call Abigail, he says. Where am I? What is this place? Man hiccups and mumbles something unintelligible. Why shouldn't I call Abigail? He snorts and beckons you to lean closer. Lean in. His breath smells harsh like a toxic swamp as he whispers to you, Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. He then waves his hand as if showing you away. Hey, I'm on an important official investigation. I demand you answer my questions. There's no use in yelling at drunks. Lieutenant interjects. He's barely holding it together. The drunk man starts coughing. A really disgusting hacking cough. Tell me about your friends. He glares at you. Don't you fucking call her. Hear me? His voice trembles with every word becoming ever weaker. Abigail, he whispers in the end. In the end. Don't, don't. The man stammers. Don't call. Slowly his head falls nods off to the side and he passes out tongue dangling from his mouth there was a little chance there was a little chance he'd be a reliable witness anyway okay so if we had if we had talked to this guy first before we went and did the phone call and we spoke to that woman would we have been able to say is this abigail good to see you friend do i have deals set up for you buddy boy he spreads his arms as if wanting to embrace you what are you talking about good to see you too friend i'm a police officer not your friend what are you talking about so what do you want i got smokes they're cheap very cheap. I got oh. Pilsner. Great deal. You won't get a better deal on that piss. Spirits I can let go for 300 real. Also, I have speed. And by speed, I mean amphetamine. Ooh. Why is it so expensive? Amphetamine? I By amphetamine, I mean speed. <laughs> I think you didn't hear me when I said I'm a police officer. I thought by speed you meant amphetamine. Eyes, eyes, what I said. Right, got it. 
why does the bottle spirits cost 300 real? See, friend, he brings out a, a one liter bottle with bluish liquid. The mouth is corked shut. It's real valuable, worth every real if you catch my drift. Got it from a bit of a business venture. Nod, let him speak. No one can buy spirits for 300. Yeah, nod, let him speak. You know, it's funny, actually. He bursts out laughing, then takes three gulps of his pills and stares at you intently. He's finding it difficult to focus his watery gaze. What is it? What? Keep him talking. What do you mean, what? What did you think was funny earlier? This guy, this guy, he says and shakes his index finger at you. Where'd you get the ball of spirits from? Oh, this is medicinal spirits. The good stuff got from the doctor's office. I got one of those scientific ampules a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. He spits a nasty yellow clot on the ground before you. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. His voice rings with pride. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. That's a good tip. I should remember it. Well, it really isn't, he croaks. In a week, the goddamn kidney started giving me all kinds of hell. Finally, the missus took me to a private private doctor's office. Not a charity. The real thing. The those assholes, he gets visibly angry. Those assholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing, but it came out on top after all. Assholes. But the idiots left me alone in there. Now I used to teach high school biology. What? I know that what doctors use to preserve dead thingies. He gets an excited gleam in his eyes. So I have three cans of this blue medicinal stuff from the back room, threw the snakes out, and voila, what's left is this beautiful blue stuff. He... He shakes the bottle. 98.7% almost pure alcohol. Two I already sold to these fine gentlemen here. He nods at his companions, but this last one is yours for three real if you want it. <laughs> I thought it was 300 real. Can I smell it first? I think it will prove useful. Yes, yeah, three real and it's yours, friend. The deal of a lifetime. Nice. That makes much more. That makes much more reasonable price. That's a much more reasonable price right there. It makes sense now. Fucking hell. Like, smashing those two together. So, so bad. All right, let's take it. He ends you the bottle. Just make sure to enjoy that one, friend. If you drink this, then you will die. That's a fact. And that's why we're going to save you from yourself and store this as a sellable item. Go sell it at the pawn shop for profit. <laughs> Quite the business venture you set up here. Oh, he gets a proud gleam in his eyes. The system's been good to old Rosemary here, and I'm milking her like a bitch goat in the backyard. Joe can't read. Joe, Joe is something close to dyslexic. I've said it a few times on stream before. Not officially diagnosed, but I, I, my eyes smash lines together all the time, even when I'm not reading out loud. What do you mean? You see, friend, he raises his index finger. Man makes his own luck, and I made mine real good. Got my eyes on three bottles of liqueur ex exquise sold to uh, to the fellows around here and immediately invested the profit. Bought cigarettes, bought beer, even bought a bit of speed, and look at me now. I got everyone on my hook. He spreads his arms and smiles a crooked, toothless smile. The hook, where is it? I can't see it. Looks like you're on your own hook, too. Impressive entrepreneurship. Point to his vice stand. I approve. Got a permit for this little shit show? Um, number one. Of course, of course, of course. The drunk raises his pilsner and nods. It is it is what it is, you know. What it's always been. People, buddy boy, it's the people. Damn. So we could we could probably, like, buy things from him and then sell it to, uh, to tracksuit guy for stories. I'm off. In the civilized world, it's a custom to tip the shopkeep friend, but come back anyway. He waves you off. All right. So how much is this worth? Eight real. Ah, oh, damn. The liquid has an unearthly blue tint, the kind that might or might not. The kind that might or might not, but definitely does glow in the dark. Oh, okay, this is ninety-eight um, common instead of decimal. Nice seven pure alcohol. Keep it away from an open flame. I know some places do that instead of uh, instead of decimals. I prefer decimals to comma commas for that. The old woman next to a bucket of clothes hums an odd melody. Her eyes are closed. Nice. You're not sure about the melody, but it might be South Samara and possibly Sigayan, also known as the Apricot Suzerainty. Welcome to the fishing village. She opens her eyes. Lean in closer. I have cataracts. Lean forward. Oh, welcome, police officer. We don't cause any trouble around here, and we don't want any trouble either. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame. What he said, we're cops, we don't cause trouble, we're take, we take care of the trouble. We're cops, we're hellraisers, click, click, bang, bang, number one. Oh, of course. Last time we saw you around here was 12 years ago. You also came to take care of trouble then, which you did. 
But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. Wait, I've been here before. What kind of ill omen are we talking about? I am an ill omen, all right. If I'm considered an ill omen, why hasn't anyone told me that? Way no, before? not you personally. I meant the RCM. Some of the men got into a fight. One of them killed another. Lock himself in that woodshed over there. Oh. Wait, what? He was brooding, needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him and took him to think about what he'd done in a more secluded place. Somewhere more quiet. She says it as if he was on some kind of spiritual retreat. What kind of illness are we talking about? Oh, the usual. Dark tidings. Black hound. That's you, alright. A black hound licking your own heels. I'm an ill omen, alright. If I'm considered an ill omen, why has anyone told me Maybe that? Maybe you're afraid. Why? Because you're an ill omen. But you're still welcome here. As long as men with guns aren't chasing you. And maybe even then. Because that's the kind of fishing village we've built. I'm sorry there's not a lot of room to park your motor carriage. And not a lot of houses. Or a lot of people. My kids are long gone. Searching for treasure. So are others. Ah, look at me ramble on. What brings you to us? Hardcore, hardcore mode coming for Disco Elysium? What? Where could someone stay around here? What is this fishing village? What's further down the coast? Tell me about yourself. Who exactly are you here? Do you know anything about a lost jacket? Tell me about yourself. Me? No one. Just an old washerwoman. Mother called me Isabel? If that's what you're asking. And my married name is Sadie. Now it's your turn, mister. Uh, call me Harry. Lieutenant Double Yefriter Harrier Dubois. You can call me Tequila Sunset. Uh, call me Harry. Why? I guess I will, Harry. I just rolls off the tongue. I used to know a Harry strong lad, but dumb as a rock. What happened to him? He did too many narcotics, so many he fell off his boat and split his skull on a boy. He ru She rubbed soap off her hands. Folks who saw it say his head cracked open like a melon. Nasty, nasty. What are you guys talking about? Disco Elysium Hardcore Mode Disco Elysium adds hardcore mode and widescreen support. Uh, okay, it, it, it makes some gameplay changes. I'm not going to read them out, just in case no one wants to be spoiled on it, but okay. Yeah, it makes some gameplay changes. Interesting. Work with someone stay around here. Stay. Most people here are trying to leave. That said, if lodgings is what you're looking for, I've got a free room in the shack. Her soapy thumbs. Her soapy thumb points to the building behind her. How much is it? I won't charge you for it. Take it as a gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCM. Wait. Hold on. You're just giving it to me? I'm not sure it's appropriate for the RCM to accept free accommodations. There's this guy, Gart, who makes me give him money every night just so I don't die out in the cold. <laughs> Hold on, are you just giving it to me? No one is using it, and God knows it's not much money. She tilts her head to the side, pondering or something. You can stay there. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, I'm Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go for it. The old one shrugs, or don't. It's your choice, no skin off my teeth. Wait, why is anyone using that room? My kids grew up and left like they do. The house is long empty now. I live in the small side attachment. It's easier and cheaper to keep warm. One more time, I can just have the room. I uh, she nods and looks at the shack. The room is pretty bare bones, but it's got a bed and a roof over it. That's more than some folks have around here. 
When Vasan communist revolutionary Ignis Nielsen was in hiding, he stayed in a hut in the Boreal Plateau for 10 months. Is this what is known as a communist landlord? Don't get me wrong, but bare bones isn't usually my style. Point at yourself. It would help me stay in touch with the proletariat. Nods. This could be the first chapter of my Rag Searches memoir. Now this is a real Ravishalian hospitality. That gart must be half kipped or something. Whoa! Unfortunate that incremental development hasn't elevated this neighborhood yet. I see potential here. I don't need much. This sound just fine. Uh, sure. Let's go number six. An uncomplicated man, she nods approvingly. I take it that means you're interested? You got yourself a tenant. Get keys to your new home. Sure. Don't make an old woman regret opening her house to the police. A key appears from under her apron. She hands it to you. Well, if you're not in the hostel in the morning, nowhere to find you. Looks like there's an eye missing there. He looks around and adds, here in a shack. He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. Should he? This environment encourages one thing and one thing only, drinking. What is in this fishing village? Thank you, Senny, for the 513 sub. Thank you very much. Or S. Senny. Not sure. Thank you, Cheap Cheap and Nesty. <laughs> uh, cheap and Nesty. Yeah, nice. Uh, welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club. Thank you for the sub and making me laugh. Thank you very much. Ralph Cogs uses 100 bits to say, A man is being held at gunpoint. Give me all your money. Wait, you can't do this to me. I'm a politician. Well, in that case, give me back my money. Oh, damn. 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 Is this is this just like showing you how like are you venting for because of the situation in Australia rough clogs is is just all of Australia just gonna rise up and just just you know Julius Caesar the prime minister for what's going on I think it might be deserved to be honest I think it might be deserved holy shit uh, thank you Sathian for the two month three sub Dune out this year yay what Dune the movie Dune is out this year is it really the the Dennis Villiar or whatever guy movie Dune movie Dune 2020 nice nice so Dennis Vill Villeneuve or whatever how you ever say his name um is pretty hit or miss with me uh, I like some of his movies but other ones I, I really don't like I think mostly I like them though what has he made Okay, um, I saw Prisoners I liked, Enemy I absolutely hated. I liked the style of it, but I absolutely hated Enemy. Uh, Sicario was really good. Arrival was not as good, but was still good. Like, I enjoyed Arrival quite a bit, but Sicario was really, really good. Um, Blade Runner 20, 2049 was really good. I enjoyed that. Okay, so I guess I guess I've enjoyed most of his movies, apart from, apart from Enemy. I wasn't really a fan of Enemy. Yeah, pr Prisoner's good, Enemy bad, Sekiro, really good, Arrival, really good, Blade Runner, really good, Dune, haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Just us, she sounds tired, it's barely a village anymore, we almost don't exist. What do you mean? This is pretty much a non-place, she grins, a gap, a blank spot on the map, just a cluster of nameless shacks on a nameless street. The place is so pornographically poor, it's not even funny. This place is pornographically poor. Don't say that. There's got to be something here. Tell me, who else lives in this village? Is there a way to make a little money around here? Who else lives in this village? Well, there's Lillian and her kids. A few... Ooh, a few... Ooh, what? A few new folks live in the house to the east. She nods her head across the courtyard, but they're away right now. And then there's the drunks. She saw it's not a pretty sight, but there's little we can do about it. Home is home even for them. Oh yeah, I met a couple of drunks here. I'm sure you did. She says with a peculiar smile and nods. Nature keeps them in rotation. A new face pops up every now and then. And an old one disappears and is forgotten. This is who we are. Oh! <gasps> All right, I think, so we're gonna use this for the first ever Twitch integrated poll. I want to try that today and here we go. Let's just pile on the interruptions. 
In case you don't know what a Yaya, a Yaya is, there you go. It's on the right. All right. Who is worst girl? Reset, Makoto, Himiko, Madoka, Ayaya. All right, so let's try the new Twitch integrated polls. I've never done one of these before, so we're going to see how it goes. All right, so we go here and we manage a poll, add a poll. All right, poll has been added. All right, manage poll. Polls are a great way to interact with your viewers. Ask them questions and react to their feedback. Create a new poll. All right, question. All right, here we go. Who is worst girl? How dare you put reset on this, by the way. Responses. All right, reset. Makoto. Himiko. Madoka. Ayaya. Can we, is that it? You can only have five? Five is max. Really? That seems kind of limited. Allow voting with bits. Okay, th that's so scummy. Subscriber votes count by two. Subscriber only. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Really? Wow. Holy crap. All right, those are options. I'm not, I'm not turning them on. I'm not turning them on. Allow voting with bits. No. Okay, so here we go. So start poll. So I don't know how this is going to go. So let's see how it works. All right. It's in the top of the screen in chat or something. Who is worst girl? Oh, damn, look at that. Everyone can vote. I'm voting too. I'm doing my part. God, could you imagine voting with bits? All right. Okay, it seems like Himiko is going to take it. For sure. I don't think this is coming back from this. Himiko, officially worst girl. Nah. Yeah. <sighs> Jesse Makoto, worst girl, how could you? <laughs> There's gotta be something here to tell me. She waves her hand southwest. Over there, you can find more of the same shacks and trees growing wild. That's the pox. It's not working for you. Really? You can't see it? Maybe you have to full screen or pop out chat or something to be able to see it? I'm not sure. Who is worst girl in Persona 5? Probably, um. I can't remember her name. In in the bar. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh yeah. Haru, wow. Haru's best girl. What are you guys talking about? Between here and Jamrock, a dusty sea of old trees, all covered in industrial soot. Small houses under them. An overgrown park, the pox. What's that? An old military hospital and its surroundings. It looks toward the buildings to the south, where it used to be during the time of the suzerain. After the war, it was turned into a goodwill hospital for shell-shocked shell veterans and folks looking for some quiet in the old sanatorium gardens. I can't wait to do Persona 5 Royal playthrough, man. I have I have s such lofty ideas for that run. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be so fun. Now the area is crisscrossed with nameless streets and makeshift cinder block hooses, shacks as far as the eye can see. What happened to the hospital? The good the goodwill ran out. She tightens the scarf around her neck. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's long gone by now. Is there any way to make a little money around here? Here for you? She lets out a dry, a dry chortle. <laughs> no, officer. The only money we have here is some coins the drunks tried hiding from their women and then forgot about. This place is pornographically poor. Yeah, let's say it to her. The lack of wealth is one thing we got in abundance. The woman smiles cryptically. Oh, look, it shows up at winner, Himiko. Damn, that's the only trophy Himiko's ever going to get. Nice. Congrats, Himiko. Congrats. 48%. Riddles. The lieutenant marks dryly and looks around. Fits with the general ambience here. I, her eyes grow wide. <laughs> Sometimes this is though I've 
uh, also gotten lost inside this nameless nothing. I'm lost too. Oh, her expression betrays curiosity. It seems to be a common theme these days. I'm in the process. I think I'm in the process of finding myself again. Maybe I should stay lost. Just move here and disappear completely. I'd really rather go back to talking about the village. Let's go with number one. Isn't that what people always think when they're lost? A fleeting smirk runs across her lips. Something I can do to help. Something I can do to help find your way, officer. All right, it's on top of my own address. What's further down the coast? Not much. She replies and wipes her forehead. There's an abandoned church, the DeLorean Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time even. Why is it abandoned? Some things just don't fly, officer. Make a girl cry. She smiles a gap-toothed smile and smells the air. Look around. Who'd go to church here? They built it 300 years ago. Must be ni have been nicer then. So they don't hold services there anymore. The Ecclesiates? Ecclesiates? Makoto, like, no, all memory aside, Makoto is, I think, a respectable choice from, from Persona 5. There are worse choices than Makoto. Definitely worse. And def way worse if we're if we're talking about all the anime games that we've ever played on stream, which is like, I think, what, like three? We've played like three anime games, that's it, right? You shit on her for 18 hours in a row? Yeah, because I'm trolling the shit out of chat. And also she was really obnoxious when she first showed up. <laughs> Disco Elysium is an anime game? No, it's not. Makoto does have a... <laughs> is it? Makoto does have a bad start. Yeah, she does. Yusuke does too. Persona 3 has a worse waifu. Really? Fortune Girl is worse girl in Persona? No, she's not. She's not worse than Oya. Come on. She's not worse than Kool-Aid Girl. Come on. No way. No way. Thank you, Kid Primus, for the 8 3 sub. Twitch is worse, girl. Damn. Does that mean you abstain from voting? Thank you, Kid Primus. Uh, thank you, Certs Plexiust, for the 100 bits. Vote Himiko Kappa. Damn, that's that's voting with bits. Meta, you found a way. Lev Delov, also, vote with bits, Stanga. <laughs> No, they've tried, but things just keep happening. Crime, accidents, other things. The place never stays open. She frowns. It's a pity. It used to be such a nice church. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. I get the feeling you're leaving stuff out. What else is going on? Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. She scoffs. It started a few days ago, and now it's blasting. Even though the nights, even through the night, sorry. And now suspicious-looking people are sneaking around the church. I don't like that. Interesting. You could look into this ruckus if you have time. What else is is on down? What else is on down coast? Ooh? Before you get to the church, is some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant? Run down, bunch of houses, empty. Which is it then? Apartments or electrical plant? I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. It used to be something. She shrugs before the war. I wasn't here then, you know. I was born in Samara. Anything else of note? Of note, the old fish market up on the boardwalk, but it's closed. Who'd want to come to a fish market here? No one. That's why it's closed. Ha! <laughs> After a long pause, she adds, it was once a bustling place back when I was young, and so was everyone else. But now... I just added a but. Now what... Now what catch... Now what catch we do... Bring in, go straight into a lorry for the Delta or somewhere else. That's it. There's got to be more along the coast. What, you're one of those big real estate people with big plans? If you want a development opportunity, you can check out the abandoned building over at Land's End. Used to be a supply depot, we think. Sending goods and ammo across the bay. It's jammed shut, though. We tried to get in, see if see if there was anything to sell. Scavenge was impossible. Yeah, we know. We tried for an hour. She drops a bar of soap into the bucket with a splash. And now you know everything there is to know about this coast. Do you know anything about a lost jacket? What do you want with a lost jacket? That's an excellent question, ma'am. That's for me to know and for you to find out. Wink at her. <laughs> <laughs> There's honor in retrieving lost things. One of the drunks lost his and I agreed to look for it. Yes, yeah, let's, let's be honest. He probably pawned it for booze and then forgot about it. You know how drunk men are. Are you getting a reward for this at least? No. What? You're fetching someone's missing laundry free of charge? You don't have anything better to do? In fact, he does. Lieutenant glances at his watch. None of my business either way. How you spend your hours is up to you. Anyhow, you might ask Lillian if she's seen anything lately. That girl's got a way of attracting lost and broken things. Goodbye, I'm off. All right, let's go and see our our new place to sleep. Unlock. 
I'll wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new living arrangement, but just so you'd know, you'd know, after we're done with the day, I'll still be staying in the Whirling and Rags tonight. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. The key turns with a satisfying click. You can enter the shack now. All right. Is there going to be some stuff in here we can loot? Yeah, that sentence is fine. Is it really? I, I, it didn't, it didn't seem right to me. Can we scroll up and see it again? You see the waves to, to see the church. It seems like there's a word missing. The floorboards creak under your step. Old science fiction magazines, books about bird watching, an almanac from 39. This intricate heat engine hums quietly, giving out pleasant warmth. Using a thermodynamic expander condenser cycle. Nice. A brisk coastal wind still howls against the window of the shack. Occasionally, the waves crawl in under the foundation, producing a low hum. Listen. The room feels muffled, like you pulled your hat over your ears. Outside, it is cold and windy, but you're inside, and it feels safe and warm. This is cozy. What is this place to you? My new hangout, where I could silently sit, drink, and die while looking at the waves roll in. My forward base for the coastal part of the operation. It's free. That's good enough. I could live here. Looks like this is my new home. Wonder where the old one went. Uh, number one, behind the half-built cinder block house at the other end of the village, there are three people drinking. Your new crew. You don't need the old crew. Oh no, you have a new crew to get drunk with. You already were a part of their crew once. You can get drunk with them again. You're probably going to hang out there a lot behind that cinder block house. It's where you belong. Thank you, strange sensation, for a fair assessment of the current situation. No way, I changed my mind. I want to choose again. There is no going back. Outside, the, whole, the howl of the wind has picked up. The waves crash against the the stilts again it's as if you think the thought but in someone else's voice look under the floorboards okay how do i do that there's nothing to interact with i would like to look under the floorboards is that a razor on the table you see a bowl of water a rough a rough soap and next to it a small hand mirror a straight razor soaks inside the wash basin oh no Oh my gosh, <laughs> this could go so horribly wrong. Is the shaving the right call? Oh no. The water reflects back a vague image of your face, nose bulbous and, and red, hair unkempt, unkempt wrinkles lining the eyes and forehead, the stash is gigantic. Like an artist with a, with a brush or a master swordsman, use the small mirror and straight and a straight razor with some soap to remove all the unkempt hair from below the nose line. The sharp blade chafes against your skin, producing a scratching sound. The surface underneath the beard feels tender. The air brushing against it chilly. Feel your clean-shaven cheeks. They feel so smooth, surprisingly so. A feeling of freshness uh, overcomes you as you as if you came from a cold bath. All right, so you can't see it because Yusuke's here, but it changed down in the bottom left. See? Was shaving the right call? The water reflects back a vague image of your clean shaven face. Despite the bulbous nose, uncombed hair, and persistent swelling, you look a little younger maybe? You almost look like a professional. Leave. An old mirror hangs in the, on the wall. You see your reflection in it. The expression fixed to a clean shaven face. You're still not accustomed to it. Attempt to stop. Oh, plus one shaves. Alright, is there any electro is there any electrochemistry upgrades we can find? Also, is there any perception things we can put on? Maybe that'll be how we get through the floorboards. Is there any negative perception we have? Yeah, encyclopedia. All right. Oh, those are the same thing, electrochemistry.
Boots had perception? Oh, they did. You're right. All right. No, that didn't help. All right. Okay. All right. So here we go, chat. Here we go. All right. This is a 3% check. If this succeeds, I'll take a million monocoins off of Yaya. All right. If this succeeds, I'll take a million monocoins off of Yaya. Here we go. Nope. Still not happening. It won't come off that easy. Even the game doesn't doesn't want a yaya. No time to rest yet. All right, so that's it. So why can't we look under the floorboards like it like it suggested? Do we need to hire half light or something, or do we go outside and look under the floorboards or what? Hmm. Cam, I shaved. Cam. Yes? So, point to your face. I shaved. Yes, um, the lieutenant stares at your shaven face. His eyes narrowed. Uh, he mumbles. I don't know what to say. He coughs, perhaps. What is it? You can tell me, Kim. I know. I know. Stunning, right? I know I shouldn't shave. I knew it and still did it. What an idiot. What is it? You can tell me, Kim. I'm not really sure about this turn of events. I think the mutton chops might have been a better idea. They sort of seem to cover up some of the... He stops. Yeah, damage. He means damage. What? Either way, good on you, the lieutenant gathers himself. You were saying? All right, fuck you, Kim. We're convincing you there's a sexy twit. No, fail! Only banal things strike you. At the core, you're a, a very uh, banal person with a very small soul. Fine. Just gonna mutter out. All right, I want to see that line again to see if it really was fine. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. Was it further down the coast what or whatever? Something about it? Ah, eh, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll look. I'll look at it in the VOD later and see. Aye, officer. A woman in, in a raincoat stands on the on the on the quay. <laughs> it's key, isn't it? Considering an overturned boat, a sword in a scabbard hangs from her hip. Really? Anything I can help you with? Uh, why do you have a sword? It depends. Where are we exactly? A fishing village on the seashore. She looks around. This place doesn't really have a name. It's sometimes called Elisable. Elisable. The sign on the street leading here is illegible. Has been since they built this place. The wind rattles her earrings. I have questions. The first is, what's your name? Move on. The name is Lillian. Oh. People call me Netpicker. I think I have time for questions, and that was actually the second one. Indeed, you're always confused as to your whereabouts. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you can help. Idiot Doom Spiral over there needs his jacket. Have you seen it? <laughs> what do you do around here? Nice sword. Point the saber on the hip. Does it come with a story? Is that your boat? I want that one. I want the sword. Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of a story. She smiles at her own joke. It's to intimidate folks, mostly. Hold on. Do you know how to use it? Not really. She glances at the blade. I know some basic moves, and I know it sure as hell beats a knife when you're in a tough spot. It is imposing. Nod. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. I'd like to get a sword. Why, why do you need intimidation tactics? From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men, and believe me, she adds, tittering. Men need a lesson in manners from time to time. Figures, typical patriarchal nonsense. Mask you venomosity. <clears throat> Can I borrow that sword? Why don't m more women arm themselves if it's so effective? Can I borrow that sword? No, I'm afraid not. Her eyes are smiling as her hand moves to the hilt. Attempting to confiscate the blade I used to keep these animals in check, it would put, you would put me in an early grave. Um, why don't more women arm themselves if it's so effective? What makes you think we haven't? She smiles. Hannah, the truth is that almost everyone in this life is scared and tired and stupid and too dull for that. That goes for men too, and but they put on an act for us, pretend like everything's good and living in shit doesn't bother them like anyone falls for that. Behold! Point to the expression on your face. Sure. 
Her eyes meet yours and suddenly she starts laughing. It's hoarse as if she hasn't laughed in a while. Find someone else to laugh at. I'm not a clown. Do you like it? Sure, her face straightens. It looks as, as if you could face down any horror in the world with that same unchanging grin. It's like a shield. The traces of her laughter are still there in her eyes fading fast. Figures, typical patriarchal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, sure, venomosity, she nods. But boys will be boys, and God knows we don't have many around. So far, the sword has been enough to keep them in line. So where are all these men now? Some went to, parch to, to patch their wounds, not parch their wounds. Their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. She looks down, and one of them I ended up marrying. Wait, why? If they're thick-headed, where's your husband now? Gone. Gone? Coward, I would never leave anyone. He disappeared. Sounds like a missing persons case. Gone where? To the waves, her eyes stopped in your stop in yours. The sea took him. It was a long time ago. That's bad. What happened? Oh, say no more. Wait for her to continue. He died. Was he murdered? Oh, that's bad. What happened? Who knows? Maybe he fell over. She shrugs. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there drunk like like a skunk. And sure enough, one day the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, well, I am sorry, cop. Know that it was four years ago and I've moved on. There's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles. Yeah, death is nothing. I shit on death. Time is really the best cure for sorrow, isn't it? It's healthy to let go and move on. Gotta keep the wheel spinning. Us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy. She crosses her arms. I buried him, mourned for an appropriate amount of time, and went on. All right, time to hit on her, Harry. She glances at the village where two little kids are playing with what looks like rocks. Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. <laughs> Kim's presence makes it awkward. <laughs> uh Uh, I'm looking for somebody you can help. Let's see. She tilts her head ever so slightly. Who are you looking for? I'd like to ask something else. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? I'm looking for someone else, actually. What? That's weird. Idiot doing spiral over there needs his jacket. Have you seen it? Remarkable. She shakes her head. That one already lost everything else and now his jacket too. It's a good thing too that he has an actual police officer looking for. A smile lights up her face. Good old doom spiral upper management to the core. That's odd. Is she actually impressed? I'm just trying to help out a stranger in need. No one plays Johnny Jacket. I find it. I keep it. And collecting evidence to charge him with, with petty theft. I don't really know why I do things. Everything just happens to me. That's true. I... We all feel that way sometimes. She turns her gaze towards the beach. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the protagonist, even in my own life story. A gush of sadness suddenly washes over her. Time to hit on her! Anyways, she clears her throat twice. I'd look near the fish market north of here on the boardwalk. Drunks are drawn to markets for some reason. Was there, was there something else? What did you do around here? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now, I'm tarring a little skiff what else i sell the fish to people in the delta to serve at, at their fancy restaurants authentic insulidian cuisine is that enough to make a living sometimes i also walk the beach to see where what the sea has given up the sea is full of surprises keep it professional man don't make it sound like you're hitting on her interesting what have you found i never thought about thought the sea brought in anything particularly interesting walking on the beach sounds quite romantic all right fuck it <clears throat> oh, very. She laughs, finding pieces of glass, bits of wood. Every once in a while, we get dead bodies. Human, animal, fish, other sea creatures. A, mo a mine washed ashore once. What else? She looks at the beach. Bottles, drugs. Oh, bottles. Nice. Um, lost cargo in general, but most of the time, it's just wooden glass. Very romantic. All right. Major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. I need to know about those human bodies. A mine. The RCM could use a mine. Where is it? Drugs. I need info on this. On this major narc. Point to yourself. This place looks bad. Why don't you leave? I need to know about the human bodies. Well, you're barking under the wrong tree then, officer. She shakes her head. I have no interest in floaters. See enough of them in my life already. A very unattractive bunch. All right. How how did we not get an extra point for the for the flirting after saying we're romantic? So I take it that's your skiff. Sure is the sun I call her coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It will take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue. All right, this is all you can retry it. You can retry it. 
Wow. Wow. All right, you guys want another Yaya gamble? Let's see what this does first. Caldo Mama Dako or whatever. So we got more perception and we lost some encyclopedia. It's not only your eardrums that register sound anymore. Your very skin has become an organ of hearing. Looking for a whisper, light and low, a god who's very, very silent. Nothing escapes you. A cockroach in the other room, a candy wrapper falling on dry dry grass, a drunk falling from a chair in a in a bar 20 meters away. In fact, you haven't heard the cold do mama daku, dakua, but you have discovered that you have amazing hearing. It must be the only part of you the alcohol hasn't drawn out. Keep listening. Ah, oh, god damn it, we just lost some encyclopedia. I like encyclopedia. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, so our suggestion. Should we level up suggestion? Should we just go for this right now? How badly, how badly do we want this date chat? Should we just keep doing it with all our, our suggestion points? are beginning to die down look at those little bastards simmer down simmer down bastards what is it with you in those waves what is it with the waves and fishermen sorry what is it with waves and fishermen she tilts her head and looks at the sea we need to be out there with them fishing making a living so i asked them to accommodate me but until that happens i can try and assist you the best i can she adds with a smile so what will it be officer that's my motor carriage in the sea, by the way. Point to the sunken vehicle. Oh, she looks at the pointed direction. That's good to know, I guess. Why is it in the sea? It's an installation, wet your lips. Very conceptual. <clears throat> I wasn't feeling it. It was an accident. I'm sorry. I got drunk and apparently drove it in the sea. An official investigation has been launched by me to determine just that, ma'am. Uh, we're art cops, number one. Hmm, an insulation. She raises her eyebrows. Us poor people are stupid and don't get insulations. All I see is a heap of trash. This actually calls for a funeral, I think. Are you suggesting we honor the carcass of my former motor carriage? No, that's senseless... Senseless... senseless. That's senseless sentimentality. Yeah, that makes sense. Inanimate objects don't have souls. I'm actually in the middle of a murder investigation right now. Let's go number one. I feels deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty like that and all. I don't think they have funerals for motor carriages. What an odd thought. Maybe I should. Why odd? Our things are a part of our, our life world. They're made with human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans, to some extent at least. Life world. Someone's been reading up on last century Gottwaldian philosophers. Play it cool now. All right, I'm in. But organizing a funeral takes a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? Oh yeah, she says with a chuckle, you won't even be able to get it out of the water before early June, and where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals, it's easiest to just leave them there and let nature take care of it. That's all we have time for right now anyway, the lieutenant looks at you sympathetically. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it then, it's not like it's going anywhere. It's a pity we don't get to do more frivolous side activities, like rejuvenate the doomed commercial area, or... <laughs> lieutenant looks at you with looks at you almost gently yes that is a pity but for now let's focus on the things we do get to do like the murder investigation for example all right she's going to date with another drunk badly all right okay so let's see do we have any suggestion for on our clothes oh yeah there's some suggestion oh she'll like this is like an, a navy captain coat do 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 Go on a date with Kim. What if, because he's here, we accidentally ask him out instead? That'd be good. Okay, I think that's it, right? All right, here we go. Here we go. The waves are beginning to die wow, it just didn't help. It didn't help at all. All right, from now on, every single 3% check that we do, if we succeed, I'll take a million points off IIO, okay? That's how it is. That's how it is from now on, chat. A million points of AI if we succeed. Oh yes, she does. You need to get your drink on. There is no other way for human beings to procreate. Not after 6,000 years of yeast, civil yeast cultivation based mating rituals. I like you, but I'm afraid to be around you because you're a woman. I want to be close to you and there's no one and but, but one, but 
And there's but one way to intimacy. Wow, I can't read today. Even worse than usual. So the Zana mankind, Al Ghul, has watched over the reprocreation of our species. Lay with me. Let's celebrate the goal. Alcohol makes closeness possible. Let's connect. Um... I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not three. Two is way too strong. I think one or four. One. Okay, she blinks. Where is this going? I need to be drunk. You do too. Please get drunk with me on a drunk date absurdly and pointedly phrased she doesn't laugh you can be quite funny officer anyway what did you want oh no she doesn't even understand you asked her out maybe perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right now try again later all right i'm not leveling up for that uh what were we wearing before that If you drink, does it affect it? I don't know. If you're not careful, the weasel will rise up and seize the memes of production. Thank you, yayification. Are you Lillian's daughter? Yes, I am. Little Lily. She gazes at you with her big eyes. You know my mom? Yes, we met earlier. No, but I'd like to. That's nice. My mom is great. She nods. She never. She's never angry or anything. Are the twins outside your brothers? Yes, she frowns. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. Suddenly, she starts snickering. They look the same. Ha ha ha. Sometimes I can't tell them apart. They look identical, right? I said the same thing. They look identic. She slowly processes the word, then snickers with laughter. Goodbye. By the girl's large curious eyes are being fixed on you. Alright, so should we go back to town and, and do all the little errands we have, or should we go check on the traps around? Go talk to Titus finally? Who the fuck is Titus? Oh, the tent! We didn't go in the tent! Let's go over the Dark Souls uh, shortcut. Yellow moss on these stones are probably stolen from someone's garden by a goose painted with pastels. Someone is trying to bring cheer into the world. Shaggy looking girl in her late teens or early 20s kneels on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, she looks oh, up. Hello there. It's cold out here, but she's not wearing a hat. She must be freezing. Dear ch child, it's freezing. Where's your hat? I have some questions for you. Huh? She looks at you distracted. Maybe she didn't hear you a little louder. I said you should have a hat on. So should you? I. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I should, I do. Oh, I didn't notice that. Alright, great. It's nice, you should wear one too if you plan on staying outside in, in this weather. Yeah, well... Look, man, fuck the hat. <laughs> Lots of feeling... Feel it up, way up. Oh my god, fuck the hat? Is that what you just said to me? I can't believe you told me to fuck the hat. You're saying it really loud, but it's not coming out. Maybe add more indignation? So I should just, just take this hat I'm wearing and fuck it, right? Point at your head, where the hat is located. Engage in sexual intercourse with the hat right here in front of you, because you told me so? On the sea ice? Are we gonna kill ourselves? More. Right here on the sea ice? More. Give you a little ice cop hat fuck show 
I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. The girl is visibly shaken. <laughs> Lieutenant is watching the scene unfold before his eyes and try to react. Is that how you see me? The girl looks down, slowly curling into a ball. That's it. You've earned it. Start crying. Life's hard. <laughs> Start crying. Anyway, I can't believe you used some settings like that in front of police officer. certain you should. You should. The young woman has kept her eyes trained on, on her wires, waiting for the sorry spectacle to end, but it's gone awful, awful quiet up there. Then the sound is sobbing. Looking up, she sees a grown man on the wrong side of 40, his face bloated from alcohol and God knows what else, not so quietly crying. This isn't really about the hat, is it? No, it is. It so is. <laughs> no. You know you're not the only one with issues. There's a motherly hint to her voice. I self-medicate. Shit, life's a horror, you know. Crying helps, though. Get it out of your system, and then maybe we can talk. Okay, I'll be here. Alright. Oh, Kim wants to calm, calm us down. Hi, Kim. <clears throat> Having looked away during the final phase of your little episode, the lieutenant now addresses you. Do you, uh, want to talk about what just happened? That's probably a good idea. Normally I'm opposed to discussing one's feelings, especially on duty, but I think this is an exceptional case. So what do you think happened? Tis possible thou could, could, couldst persuade the lieutenant was all part of thy, thy unorthodox method, but can thou persuade thyself? Drama. Convince yourself that you didn't melt down just now. A crygasm. I experienced a mental malfunction. I'm okay now. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna go for three. I think I think we own up to it, right? One. Crygasm. A what? It's when you totally break down and it feels a little better afterwards. I don't know where I got the expression f from. I may have just invented it. I experienced a malfunction and minor malfunction. I'm okay now, number one. In the future, could you please refrain from emoting too much on duty? The quasi-legal status of the RCM means we need to project strength twice as consistently as any other police force in the world. Weakness is my sh is strength. Not when projecting strength, then it's just weakness. Sounds like typical macho bullshit to me. That may be so, but such is Ravishal, and this is what is expected us of us in Ravishal. You get the feeling you're being handled with kid gloves because your cheeks are still soaking wet. Glad to hear it was minor. Can you go on? Yes, it is my duty after all. Absolutely, superstars always get up and try again. The end is near anyway. I might as well see this through. I can, and I'm sorry, Kim. I promise this is the last time. <laughs> Do we want to be better? Do we want to be better for Kim? What's all this? The end is near. Is there like an apocalypse cop um, path that we haven't done anything for? I'm sorry, Kim. I'll try to be better. Apocalypse cop. There it is. A copalypse. Eh? Wow, we are such a sorry cop. Such a fucking sorry cop. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new foreign music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's people in here too? Why are there so many people? Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Squeeze in. Sorry, we barely have room for one. Oh god, we're gonna lose a kidney. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just like I just like dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. He gestures for you to squeeze in. I'm scared. Oh, there was room for Kim. Smells like sweat and laundry detergent, plus a trace of ether. Coupri Lange. Engine starting fluid. Canister filled with what appears to be water. The label says distilled. Pile of nasal sprays. Brand name, Nozafed Ultra. Alright, for the love of God, please be a communal conversation. A speaker, the big kind they use for live music. Andre. 
You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down, extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. There's definitely something futuristic about his hair, aggressively so. You get the sense that this is what the future will look like. Embella... In... In... Besilic? Imbecilic? What? Like imbecile? Oh shit, I still have the dashboard open. Shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He is he's trying to protect to sorry, to project and inspire confidence. Oh, he didn't feel his. Noid. Noid. The young man with the earrings looks at you suspiciously. An egghead. Egg! Are you an elf? No, it's just the background. He yells the tape player high above his head, continues to blast strange music. Together with a cell burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. Wait, how many music venues have you organized? We have many in a pipeline, officer. That means they haven't set up a single one yet. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. All the for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. He has authority issues. Yeah, me too. There's no need. This pla The place is pretty bad. Next time, watch yourself. Was this something you wanted? Number one. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. Enough histrionic histrionics. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church. And I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. Dope heads! Burnouts. He angrily spits on a screw, then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershol. Strike that the world! And sadder yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. Good, this calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Shake your head gravely. I feel like you may be laying this on a bit thick. What's really so bad about these dope heads and burnouts? They're spooky. What exactly do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that officer. All I can say is their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't heat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just want to spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. He turns to you. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter getting them out whatever spooky stuff they're doing i'm sure i'm not sh i'm not sh i'm sure it's not what the okay he said this word ecclesiates ecclesiates i think that's what he said right meant their property for i'll look into it tell me more get the task i'll make up my mind later i have questions for you first not now Let's just take the task, fuck it, we don't have to complete it. Alright man, he claps his hands enthusiastically. Andre is obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchange giddy looks. What's the status of the church? I haven't got inside the building yet. I asked Noid to install a measure against more drifters wander wandering in. A padlock. It's a temporary fix, just something that contains the situation. You locked them in? I have to do in a hurry, not my best work, but it should hold for a while. How long are those people being locked inside there for? Not long, like a week maybe, he shrugs. What? How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%, maybe 85% sure they're still alive. 
Somewhere in the ru ruinous past that led you here, there was something called exams. You may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there. Andre, do you know what involuntary manslaughter means? 85% is not good enough when you're dealing with another person's physical well-being. I mean, like, yeah, we, we failed a 97% check earlier. Yes, I do. I listen to Channel 8 all the time. I know about crime stuff, and I assure you, officer, this is not what's happening here. I'm at least 80% sure they're alive. I mean, come on. Most people aren't ever that alive in their entire lives. What does that even mean? I don't know. He pauses to think. What does anything mean, really? Yeah, what do words mean? Oh, yeah, he looks at his friend with an expression of profound understanding. Yeah, I catch your drift. I knew you'd get it. You're one smart cop. Also, a sorry cop. It feels good to be a smart cop, doesn't it? That's, what, that's a good cop to be. It has a nice ring to it. Smart cop. You wouldn't want to be stupid cop now, would you? But still, maybe he's just sucking up to you. You can stop buttering me up now, thank you. I get it. Now, the, where was I with that padlock? He, he nods attentively, ready to answer the questions of one smart cop. What about the key? Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. <laughs> All right, the speed freak dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key. He then makes a sudden cool and fused move, tossing it in your general direction. I, I God, I hope we fail. I want to please, please fail. Oh, please fail. Please fail. Yes! It's as if time is frozen somehow. You think you can sense the key moving in the air? Yeah, this is gonna be way cool. Don't ruin the cool by overdoing it. Raise your hand in front of your face with minimum effort. Blam! Straight in the eye! <laughs> straight, straight in the old eye orb in the looking ball. A stabbing pain to your stream of control before your eyes are crying again. <laughs> We're crying again! Ouch, goddamn asshole! What is wrong with you? <laughs> you see I'm in pain now? Man, I'm super sorry. That was totally my bad. I got overexcited, threw them too hard. I'm sorry. He looks like he he's genuinely sorry he didn't throw them better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bend your face in mockery of his useless contrition. <laughs> you almost I murdered me a cop. That's use of lethal force. I really am sorry, man. Just take this, okay? He pulls out some black paper from his belt pack. Wow, looks like there's quite a lot there. That's the least you could do. Take the money. I don't need your pity money. Now where are we? I'm fucking taking the money. 25 real. Holy shit. I hope that settles it. Or wait. The key. He cautiously hands you the little key ring. He is shifting in his spot uncomfortably, still feeling sorry for the mishap. We were talking about the padlock, I think. Right? Other questions. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Who exactly is people inside the church? The truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. You haven't even seen them and you want the police involved? Well, he leans in for emphasis. There's also the machinery. This machinery is of, is of the deeply mystical variety. When I first scouted the place back in February, it was abandoned, empty. It took some time getting the crew together, so about two weeks ago we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly there are these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was some thing in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Does it bother anyone else that like his portrait doesn't have hair, but his model does? Anyone else bothered by that? I'm a little bothered by that. Felt like silence, awful silence. But you haven't physically seen anyone? Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple times, and we felt someone or something eyeing us inside, but that's kind of it. What was, what was that about something watching? Can you tell us about this machinery or more me? Like, you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human, is it a ghost? Do you know what he means? It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. A crab man? What? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and down this around the ceiling, like a crab. The other one agrees. It was stalking a, a, a seal? Exhibiting ambush behavior. Odd. Crabs are usually marine creatures and not known for climbing walls. Are you sure? <laughs> the ambush behavior, not crap, man. Alright. 
crap, man. Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. I saw the seal was alone at the time. But I believe her. The crab went after a seal. If she comes out running and, and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there, you should ask her about it, but be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. There's probably is no crab, man. Don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. Can you tell me more about this machinery? You should talk to Noid about that. Well, Noid's here. Oh my god, is there a unique conversation with all three of these guys? I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely... So how can you be sure they're burnouts and dope heads if you haven't seen them? Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. This is a, a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, is attempting to weaponize weaponize idiocy. Wow, you can't, but you do. I should add weaponized idiocy to my own repertoire. Hey, now he furrows his brow. I'm seventy percent sure they're substance abusers. Don't let all that that technology fool you. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers when he says technology. Where do you think drugs come from? All right, let's talk about something else. You mentioned some kind of exceists on the church. Who are the Ecclesiates? Ecclesiates. Oh yeah, that's a Meterian name for the founding party. I thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Before we go on, what do you mean by me? By Meteoran, you know, of me Meteo, concerning Meteo, Meteo, mask it. Now humor me, Andre, what is the founding party? Don't mask it. I don't even know what the founding party is. Fuck it, let's go with that. Couldn't think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know? I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society, he pauses, and they're the custodians of the Perikinesian church. What are they, like the stonemasons? Plus they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the in innocentic system, no? Now, Andre, in your opinion, would this ancient religious organization who anoints the innocents want a dance club in one of their churches that... Is <laughs> totally, there isn't a trace of doubt in his voice. The Perikinesian church is about love. Anodic music is about love. I got love for my Perikinesian pa posse. Love is the relay of death. We dance. He violently shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore. Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my Insolididian posse. He turns the volume up, then looks at you with a knowing nod. It's as, as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The... Anodes or anoids? Anoids? And the cathodes coursing through you. I think it's anodes and cathodes, isn't it? Coursing through you, your big toe starts tapping along to the bass as if testing the waters. No words, enjoy the beat. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. What's a posse? I guess love can be pretty hardcore. I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Anodic music is about love, and it's, so is the Perikinesian church. No words, enjoy the beat. Feels good. What posse? What's a posse? Your posse is like your people, man. Like you got your cop posse. Look, you look out for each other, and your part, and you party together. That's a posse. How do you not know what a posse is, Harry? Wait, is he? He's actually tapping his feet. <laughs> it sounds like you're just saying random things. Love, posse, make noise. Are we? He looks at you mysteriously. Yeah. The one with the large head really enjoys it when his friend gets mysterious. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh, yeah, it can. He's coming around. He nods at his friend. Then he turns to you with a mischievous grin. You're getting it. I understand it was lame of me. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yarg. Yeko Kata, the place to be. He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Perikinesianism. Do it for the... Disco Elysium Scrabble would just be just the biggest bullshit game ever. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand. Approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with his large with large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. I want to ask about this tent full of equipment. Yes, what? I see you brought your own water. 
Yeah, yeah, good to have bitch to carry. When we when I first scouted the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water, and it's distilled too. Oh, he doesn't know what to say. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like, it's like he's lying to you, my liege. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. Hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. He picks up a piece of telephone cord and, exp and inspects it. What? Wait, I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? I don't smell it. Ether. How's it going, Lily Bell? Just a minute. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent. It's like not laundry detergent. Can we put it here? Yeah, can you just check if there's sugar in it? Because I was helping them do a puzzle and I got distracted. I don't see sugar. Yep, the sugar. Okay. We couldn't do one puzzle at a time. We had to do two and then, like do hard mode. What so, kind of puzzles? There are two little jigsaw puzzles. One has animals mm -hmm. and the other one is like a uh, underwater shark thing. Okay. So of course Leo's trying to put sharks in with the animals. Of course. So, but it's panic mode, mommy, mommy, because it's not fitting, right? Well, good Very luck. exciting downstairs. Good luck Very with that. Exciting. This is peculiar. Yeah, this is that when he sits the air, then shrugs. It doesn't take a forensic scientist to guess it's drug related. They look and act like the kind of guys who've done their fair share. However, their breathing is regular, their jaws stay put, and their pupils aren't dilated, so not under the influence right now. At least not under the influence of stimulants. That doesn't rule out hallucinogens, uh, benzos, some depressants. How do you know all of all this? What's well the nosafed? The what now? He leans in to hear you better. Point to the bottles of nasal spray in the corner. The Nosafed Ultra. You have a lot of it lying around. Harry wants some. Oh, the old Ultra. We, um... He's like an actor looking f to the souffleur for his line. I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. You sound fine to me. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. You sound fine to me. Yes, he nods energetically. That's all Nosafed's doing. Ah, good one. Without the Noza, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nosafed is the shit. Good. Now on to the next thing. Can I have some? I have nose problems too. Um, sure. He picks up one from the corner and hands it to you. Here you go, officer. The Noza blasts away. I get the nose of fed, but what about the engine starting fluid? The engine started fluid, it's her starting engines. What engines do you start with it? What's with the goddamn Ro Ro Roman Gorod hearings? It's <laughs> it's cold, the fluids with the generator, he points toward the machine. Keep on it, sire. How's that extra high ether content working out for you? Does it do the trick? I guess it does. You're not completely satisfied yet. You know, maybe that slight scent of ether I felt before is somehow connected to ethyl ether. No idea, man. Did you know that ethyl ether is used as a light anesthetic, and a solvent, and an explosive, and for manufacturing amphetamine? Alright, enough of this. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Take a moment to analyze. Godly! Convinced you're a smart- Oh no! No, I didn't realize that was going to be bad of us. Alright, that's it for now. Let's see if we can have some logic close. Be careful in there, officer, and tell us how it goes. Yeah, hold on. I need to put my logic clothes on. It's just, it's just the best part of the game, by the way. Just the best part. Oh man, how, how do we get so- whoa, we look different. Why do we get so much logic from this? Holy shit. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? Alright, I think this one calls for music. This is a big one. Oh no, shit! I thought we were gonna succeed for sure! No, we had 
Well, first of all, you're a smart cop, and a smart cop like you would understand it's, it's if something wasn't quite right, so this should be easy. Was this a red check or a white check? Shit. Mm-hmm, rub your chin. What's the gist of it? The gist of it is they, they want to turn the church into a club, but a suspicious element has overtaken the building. It's very important to understand what the gist of things is. Always consult the gist before making up your mind. This is going well. Plus, as you consider, you can't invent the future of dance music in this smelly old tent. Imagine if you had the church. That settles it. Analysis complete. This story checks out. <laughs> Alright, I'm so glad we failed. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. All right, can we level up our logic? I want to. I want to succeed on this one. Oh my god, that was so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh shit! All right, let's level it up. Hey, back Hi, again. Seventy-two so, uh, percent. Fucking really? Nothing jumps out at you. Nothing out of the ordinary. Really? Because I could swear something's not adding up here. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? A number of things don't add up. Let's take a look. How about gather around, kids? <laughs> Okay, kids, gather around. The young Spreed Freak puts down a busted capacitor and looks at you. The one with the large head seems to be very enthusiastic about whatever you have planned. Their would-be leader is less amused. Sometime in the past, I'm not sure when and where, but betrayal was involved. I fell sick and became the shadow you see me now. But before that, I have reason to believe I was a police detective. But you still are. Thank you for your kind words, but everyone in here sees I'm disgraced to the uniform. I was good enough for this job to be awarded the rank of Lieutenant Yefriter. I could have been captain. Imagine that. Number one. What happened? The egg looks. The egghead looks serious suddenly. Disco happened. It smelled so impossibly sweet. Life tore me a new asshole. I did. I happened to myself. That's a real downer, he shakes his large head. Now, obviously, that might as well have been a thousand years ago, but there's still some detective left in me. The young speed freak is silent. He senses something is wrong. You're sober. Was it hard for you to keep sober for this meeting? This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. We don't need drugs to be hardcore. Shut the fuck up, Egg. Maybe not today, Egg, but you need drugs to get through the days when you're not expecting me. Climb down from the equestrian monument, cop man. Consciousness is new to the universe. We all have our ways to ease the shock. <laughs> That's a good line. Bottom line is, I know, proceed. What exactly is it you know? He sounds confrontational. This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea how you arrived at that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. He points to the speaker. One speaker. They have one speaker. Where is his friend? Did he lose his friend? That knows the Fed is is here for its active ingredient. The distilled water. Conus corners cornstone of a clean lab the ethyl ether from the cooper's lange a solvent good for getting actin agent out of the solution where's his friend did he lose his friend what do you mean friend the other speaker you only have one it's a one speaker system it's monodynamic you wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction in anodic music other speaker Pfft. This may be a, the brain damage talking, but you've definitely never heard of monodynamic or one speaker systems. The nose of Fed is here for its active ingredient. He said it was for his nose. What more do you want? Oh, damn, we're getting so much money. Likely pseudo ephedrine? Ephedrine? Almost exactly the shape of ephedrine. Ephedrine makes you happy, and so does pseudo ephedrine. The distilled water, cornerstone of a clean lab. An all cellular based life. What's your point, Lawbringer? The ethyl ether, blah, blah, blah. Make up your mind. First it's the sweat, now then it's the ether. He smiles nervously. There's no need for me to pollen anymore, is there? No shit, he sounds tired. In short, you tried to use a police detective to set up a drug lab. That's, he waves his hands. Come on, that's preposterous. Against the law. Punish, punishable by summary execution. Fucking disco is all hell. Preposterous. I meant to say, not true. So what are we going to do with you? What do you mean, do? 
There's resignation in his voice. He's almost ready to drop the act. It wouldn't take a lot of pushing. We do, we do this lawman style. First you tell me everything, then I pass judgment. You tell me what's really going on and we'll work from there. I can be lenient. I don't really care. I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want and I'll do what I want. <laughs> Number two. It's ephedrine? Really? There's no Google speaking for this one. Oh, there's this one. Ephedrin. 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 But there's another pronunciation that's ephedrine. Ephedrin. Ephedrin. What do you mean by lenient? Not calling back up and hauling you all off to, to the pen for starters. Haven't you heard? I'm the dirtiest cop this side of the river. I'll make life hard for you using every connection I've got. We'll see. Now speak. He, he thinks for a moment, then opens his mouth, but then close, but closes it again, then finally raises his hands. Things are just way too hard for an entrepreneur in this city. It's not like we're not going to turn, gonna turn the church into the wickedest club in East Revachal. Because we are. We totally are. We just... We just gotta turn it into a speed lab first you know to get our foot in the door and why did you need me like i told you spooky assholes moved in while i was getting all the stuff together a month ago the place was empty and now it's all spooked up they're not really spooky are they no man they're spooky all right it's just that they would also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there but the sign was way off too i couldn't feel the love at all Sir, you promised you'd be lenient. Give me your cash. Ask for a bribe first. Pack up and report to Precinct 41. Arrest them. Get lost. I don't want to see you again. Evict them. Let's do this clean. No speed lab. Just a club for anodic music. Proceed Proceed with the club. It wouldn't work without the lab. Do what you do what you have to do to keep the club alive. I have to look into, this, into the, spooky, the spooker situation before I can decide what to do with you. I think we want to do it with, with six. Four, please. What? I'm going to go with six. I'm going to see what's going on in there. We can continue on an amiable path, right? No more misunderstandings. No more lies. He nods, smiling cautiously. Before you go, is there anything else you need? That's it for now. As always, we'll be right here waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. Okay, so can I go Hi back again. to this? So, uh, how are things going? Oh god, a young man with peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harman Woshi tape player nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, I wonder if the hair is just kind of implied. As though you're supposed to, it's decorative. Supposed to be sharing some tremendous evangelical secret. Hardcore. Hardcore. Say nothing. Hardcore. Still say nothing. Hardcore to the mega. Say nothing. Internally coherent. Still say nothing. All core. All right. Yeah. Say nothing. He furrows his brow at, at it, as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music to the very real air of the stuffy tent. Ah! He lets out an agonized roar over the feeblish, obviously not too loud hardcore beat below. So hardcore. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> He does his head to the other side like an owl. <laughs> Feels like you should reply with the very pinnacle of idiocy here so that things totally get totally transcendent. But you haven't gotten there yet, so you don't know what to say. I don't know what to say exactly. Under the radar, over the top. Could there have been a right way out of this this garden of forking paths, you think? This is hardcore. Is it? It's hardcore! I don't know what to say to that. You're just gonna keep saying it's hardcore, aren't you? Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. Nice. So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid? Good. Skin so through the holes of, of this in the Speed Freak's too large sweater in front of him and open to a box full of carpentry tools and parts. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Solve the hardcore. What? There's actually a path through that? 
He runs his hand through his hair, which is combed back in, in mock seriousness. Wait, hold on. Come back later. Is there? Back to the heavyweight jam! Says the young man with the tape player and the large boy Dario boots. Lung-shaped trees spout on, sp sprout on his silver belt Hardcore. buckle. Hardcore! Say nothing. Hardcore! But is it, I mean, really? Yeah! Yeah! This young man adds a capital G before the H in his ya yeah, and ogs. This produces a guttural Gotwaldian accent and makes him sound more animal, more in it. Or maybe it's not Gotwaldian, maybe it's Oranese. Probably a, an homage to Orani, where Arno van Eyck is from, judging by his name. Could you be listening to an Arno van Eyck creation right now? So is this the famous van Eyck I'm hearing? Do you know about him? He moves his mouth, but sound doesn't come out. His eyes are the size of saucers. Looks like you've rendered him speechless. You know Ike. Yeah, I'm a major I Ike head. Wow. wow. The skinny wraith looks at you with some disbelief. So am I. So am I. He begins to shake his head so everyone would understand. Oh, is that why they call you Egghead? Because... Well, you guys don't know why he's called Egghead? Egghead to the mega. The K became the G. The boy became the man. Oh, it's Egghead. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the advent? <laughs> Was that it? Did we solve it? No? What? How is that not the answer? We're close. True. Hard. Full. Car. Say hard nothing. Car. Say hard nothing. All right. Comes Here comes the night. No. True. Say, nothing. Say nothing. Say nothing. Say nothing. I was wondering if you knew who killed the mercenary hanging out, hanging beside the Whirling and Rags hostel. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Kata, the place to be. I'm beginning to think this really doesn't have anything to do with the case. You said that before. Why is this Yeko Kata the place to be? What does that mean? Kata, the hardcore place. An intricate system of irrigation networks pockmarking the earth, intermittent seas of phosphorus mud ripped tarpaulin fluttering in the wind, a pair of molten rubber boots also come to mind, all in all, a truly hardcore place. Vic true, ha hardcore, hardcore to internally co Good morning, yeah, it's the message, so listen and you will see. No illusion, the spirit is what you feel. Oh, fuck Vic me, dead. True, ha hardcore, hardcore, internally, all core, all right. Please tell me, wh yeah. what exactly are you doing? You gotta get the people going. I see. Yeah, request. I want everybody as close to the stage as possible. All right, then. Vic true, ha hardcore, hardcore, internally, co all core. All getting right. getting kind of a door vibe right going. now. Why? It's a party boy. It's my job. What is a party boy? Hardcore party 25 7, beyond the winter's orbit style. Damn, we're getting so much money. There is a place far away in Katla beyond a certain latitude known as Winter's Orbit where there are 25 hours in a day. It is a tremendously what? cold place abandoned to drunks and failed rock stars full of Eternite, Depression, and half-finished ski-flying hills. The Suru live there. Alright, was that it? It wasn't, was it? It wasn't. True, ha, hardcore, hardcore, internally coherent, all core, all right, gotta get the people, I'm the party boy. I think it's I'm also a party boy. Track. Watch your back, watch out for the heart attack. The clothes, true, hard, full, hardcore, hardcore, internally, all core, all right. Throws his brow. No, but seriously, I'm a little worried it isn't. The question is, what is the question? Just answer the just answer the question. That would have been good if I had asked you a question, but I didn't. Now it's just idiotic. But there was a question? Oh, God. All right, still not here. By the way, we need to put our, our proper clothes back on. We need to put our hat on. And these are the wrong glasses, right? The true, hard, 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 intern, all core. The question is Just answer the question. There was, no there was no question. Fucking hell. What is the true hard card in turn all core? Hard core. Is it though? <laughs> what I was just thinking that a moment one ago. Mind, one spirit. There's no other world. There's no other life. Oh my god. Be close. True. Hard 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 in turn all core. All right. Hard core. Is it though? It is. What is it? I mean, really. Okay, the question. What is the question? No, but seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. He frowns and starts bobbing his head back and forth once more. 
The skin on your back is crawling for a second. You can't even hear the music anymore. There is a hawthorn tree on Rue de saint Gislain right next to the canal. You said you were worried. What do you think is wrong with the music? Why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Are you a thought reader? You said you were worried. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. He turns pensive all of a sudden. Sometimes I just feel like anodic music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno Van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last month and will continue pumping for the rest of 51. Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? He thinks for a moment, then his expression clears. Maybe another speaker? It's like it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right, it's not hyper hardcore. If anything, it sounds a bit proto, like it's not fully formed yet. You might be a more moribund alcoholic and failed cop, but you are pretty certain a thing can cannot be both proto and hardcore. It's hyper hardcore. It's super hardcore. It's only ultra hardcore. It's proto, not hardcore at all. Whoa, culture cop. I think you might be right. But how is all this hidden behind that fucking stupid fucking hardcore maze of bullshit? I think it might be right, but how could it be become hardcore then? I know it in my heart, but I cannot think it in my head. If this is not hardcore, how could anything be? Sounds suspiciously like a question. I thought the question was, what is the question? Try to think of anything. Try to think if anything could make it harder core. Wait, I just remembered something. I'm the police. <laughs> I can't. Two. What? He looks at you with customary amazement. Guys, there's something happening in his head. Think even harder. Oh yeah, he's doing it. Please don't be a fucking skill check, but you're not. This is almost certainly a matter that surpasses limits of reason. My imagination fails me. I know, so does mine. He laughs and shakes his head. What is the question? No, this is the answer. I can't help you with this right now. I need something else, something extra. Yeah, it's not even the slightest... He's not even the slightest bit disappointment. Physical instrument? Are you a thought reader? No nation but trans nation, no war but class war. Does that mean you're not your does that mean you're a thought reader? Don't be a lunatic, of course he isn't. Jermaine here just yells random things. Odds are sooner or later one of them will come off as thought reading. Yeah, Revachal Imperative. Unless you were thinking Revachal Imperative right now. Anyway, I've had a similar thing happen with eggs with eggs yelling. I know what you mean. But I was thinking Revachal Imperative. You're right, I wasn't thinking that. Hardcore superstar. So you're not a thought reader. You're a communist? He's not a communist. That's just something he likes to yell. He picked it up from a tape jockey in the Parisium. Policium. She was a communist, though. Yeah, with a rebel yell. How long have we been in this tent for? An hour? But why aren't you a communist? Communism is truth. You should... It's good you're not a communist anyway. You should be an ultra-liberal. Best not to be a communist. Having extreme views on issues is detrimental in understanding all sides. That's us. Centrist cop. Oh, sure, I can do that. He nods. If you want, I can avoid taking a stand. Please don't turn him into a moralist. I don't even know what to say to that. Be a moralist, egghead. The balance needs your help. Don't be a moralist. Wait, what am I saying? You should consider your choice carefully and rationally. Don't be a moralist. That path requires a sensible examination of all nuances unattainable to most people. Be a moralist, egghead. Ah, he yells. You guess egghead is a moralist. <laughs> Something else, egghead. <laughs> It's time to compromise. He looks at you with an almost impossibly wide sh shining grin. <laughs> looking, looking to see if you improve. Obviously, one shouldn't be too hasty with their decision making. I'm swiftly moving toward a solution which pleases nobody. <laughs> God, is your real name Jermaine? The Accord, Hardcore, Jermaine Egghead. Um, yeah, basically, yes, it is. Where, why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Lungs are for love, la amor, la compassion, la autodiscipline. Love, he suddenly yells, and the world seems to stop. I, in a woman's lungs, lonely as as I am, I'm not afraid. This strange damage feeling grows on and on because I've never loved someone like you before. All right, goodbye, Egghead, leave. All right, all right, here comes the night. All right, we need physical instrument. We need to do this right now. All right, physical instrument. Physical instrument. Physical instrument.
minus one, minus two physical instrument. Okay, is there anything else on physical instrument that we, that we no, that's it, fuck man, this is gonna be a hard check to do. Incremental progress, yeah! <laughs> Is he, is he saying that because we turned him into a moralist? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the details, what the fuck? Alright, 20%, we can do it. Fuck, pretty close. No, that would be silly. Your body isn't for thinking. It's for robust, wholesome things. Things like discus, javelin, and 400 meter hurdles. Mmm, discus. Alright, so, can we level up our physical instrument? Oh, no, we can't! Oh, man, I want to chat. I want to save scum so bad. I really, I need to know. I'm sorry. I need to know. It's, come on, we can't level it up? Fuck, man. I don't want to be a Redditor. I don't want to be a Redditor. I don't want to be a Redditor. Shit. Is there any way to, to raise it up with something else? Is there a thought we can do that raises that raises physical instrument? Visual calculus, empathy, half light, white morning. No. Fuck, okay, we're doing it. Incremental progress! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Incremental progress! Yeah! Oh, we're not gonna get it! Alright, one more time. If we don't get it one more time, then the universe is telling us that, we, that we're not a Redditor. Incremental progress. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's it. All right. We're not doing it. Damn. We're not doing it. We're never gonna know. We are never gonna know. Huh. I see you're here again, offside man. Did I mention getting us into the church would help? All right. One more time. <laughs> I'm not drinking alcohol. No, this is this is a this is a no no drugs run. Incremental it's it's a no drugs no, yeah. no safe scumming run. Okay, those are our rules. No drugs, no safe scumming. All right. Fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> Incremental progress. How? Yeah. How? How is this even possible? It's not that low of a check. What the fuck? Incremental progress. First try. Yeah. First try, first try, you know in your lungs where the pressure should vibrate, in your heart that's alone, and in your solar, solar plexus where the hits should land, so does every chore date animal needs more bass. Base. What? <laughs> Bass. <laughs> what? The young man makes a sudden move like he's about to turn the volume down, but that would be ridiculous. And a melody. My voice just cracked there. <coughs> Sorry. And a melody. A good melody is what this. I'm turning into a redditor. That's it. A good melody is what makes the song really stick, so that you can you can't get it out of your head anymore. Point at your head. Wow. Okay. We should start with the melody, and where would we get that stuff from? I don't know, I was thinking you would know. Nowhere, I'm not going to become some sort of anodic cop too. I've got enough copper types already. Oh no, please become one. You'll miss out on so much good content otherwise. It's like being the greatest cop on earth. Please, please, the young man smiles at you widely, bright and innocent as the summer sun. Okay, I'll look into it. In an official capacity, it's hard. It's up to the police to make the beats go harder. Take the task. All right, I'll see if I can come up with something on my own. A citizen investigation. Take the task. All right, fuck it. The young man falls silent with appreciation. He even tries to contain his smile as if it could hinder your investigation. Basically, what you need to do here is find a tape with some banging music on it so that Egghead could use it to remix Van X Jam. Thank you for translating, Andre. Yeah, maybe 
that street hawker across the pawn shop has some tapes to sell. That's just an idea. There's a Hawthorne tree on route to St. Gislaine right next to the canal. A reel of magnetic tape is caught in its branches like bronze ribbons blowing in the wind. It feels cold. Does it? He looks around, looking for the cold. Rue de St. Gislaine. I've been there. Oh, I know. I know this. I can tell you where it is. St. G is the boulevard before the canal bridge, the one that takes you to the Whirling and Rags and the Industrial Harbor. It's, it's got the lanterns and the... I knew that. I could have said that. And the mosaic sidewalk. But it's all blocked with that stupid traffic jam right now. Anyway, shake it off. Anyway, that's all yours to figure out, caught man. Caught man yells egghead. All right, do we reload now? We've seen what the solution is. Should we reload? What do you think about shivers? I feel I don't want to save scum. I want to see. I just want to see what happened. I just want to see what happened. I have to. What do you mean I have to live with it? I can save scum to save scum. Undo, 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 undo. Live with your shame. Wow. 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 Huh. I see you're here again, offside man. Did I mention getting us into the church would help? Sign. Yeah, I gotta compare. See if we can align. Interesting. I suck at socializing, man. Even now, our sign synchronization is way off, but I'll see what I can do. He continues to rearrange his tools. Tell me about the machines you saw in the church. He cringes. Weird stuff specialized. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Hey, hey, I, I save scummed for chat, all right? I save scum for chat. It was just so chat could see what it was, all right? That, that's, that's, come on, come on. Every, everyone in chat wanted to see. Wires going in water it gives off a spy sign or some fucked up Samaritan science sign, you know, the kind that goes headfirst into the supernatural. The People's Republic of Samara is a product of the Revachal sister re revolution on the Grad Isol Isola. It's known as a severely degenerated rogue state. <laughs> no idea Joe's middle name was Chad. <laughs> Don't be too hard on Samara. They're all alone in the world. Half of what we know of them is just propaganda. What's wrong with the supernatural? The supernatural, you think it's real that it actually exists? Don't be too hard on Samara. I know, man. I was just talking about the aesthetic. What's wrong with the supernatural? Nothing's wrong with it. It should definitely be researched. You can still do sick shit with it, though. The sickest. The biggest. Most tragic. Most awful safe scum. This That is perhaps why it should be researched. Supernatural exists, blah, blah, blah. Um, most of it doesn't exist, but there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale-related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. Why are you called Noid? Oh, I'm a Redditor now, so I, I have to believe in skinwalkers. Apparently Reddit is, is convinced there are actually skinwalkers in the world. Why are you called Noid? He picks up some, some sort of widget. The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It is not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. What the fuck? I hate cops now. Oh man. I hate, I hate, I hate our character. It's not easy to reach a harmonic resonance of signs without some adjustment. Does this mean we need sign matching? Yes, further sign matching would do, would do good for us. One way to achieve this would be by getting us into the church. All right, I'll come back later. All right, are we finally out of this fucking place? Hey Kim, how's it going? How long was I in there for? Yes. Oh man. Uh, a belated thank you to Glistenin for the 10 month resub. Last month I told you Overwatch was shit. I have my first scrim with my college's team today. Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> good luck good luck listening good luck um i love overwatch because i'm a redditor now so yeah i'm with you i'm with you thank you scuba for the five month resub jph pickle thank you very much five months in the pickle jar thank you thank you 
Dark Flash has used some bits to say egg. Zorgrox used 100 bits to say this is my favorite quest line in the game. Hope everything goes well. We save scum for you, Zorgrox. For you. I will I will endure becoming a Redditor for chat. I will do it. Can I get a welcome to the subreddit? Of course, Swart. Two months in the subreddit. Thank you for the resub. You have to live with it, you Redditor weeb. Wow. wow. A Redditor and a weeb? Holy shit. I, I, I feel like maybe my virginity just grew back. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, thank you, not Sam 21 for the 2 month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Cowgirl Nerd, for the 7 month resub. Disco Elysium is force feeding Joe addiction. <laughs> Dwisco Elysium. Yeah, thank you, Cowgirl Nerd. Save scummers are also known to enable a Yaya. I mean, like, if we're gonna reload, shouldn't that mean that the, the price goes up? Reloading the price? Joseph Anderson, Gamer Weeb, Redditor, Atheist. <laughs> There's a hint of pity in her eyes. Her hair is dyed blonde with dark roots showing, and she wears thick black eyeliner. Most men wouldn't call her pretty. There is a manliness to her, a coarseness. It's a bit presumptuous. Yeah, can we talk for a minute? Your associates tried to use to use me to set up a drug lab. I'm guessing you knew of this plan. I did, and I'm sorry. She doesn't appear surprised for what it's worth, which isn't which isn't much. This is why I didn't go into the tent. The lieutenant looks at the ocean, squinting his eyes. Typical delinquency. <laughs> You don't get to choose your posse. They choose you. Minor idiots, but they're mine. I tried to talk Andre out of it. Should have tried harder. Misleading a cop is no joke. I don't care. I'm a loco. I just wanted you to. I just wanted you to know about the plan. <laughs> what? I know. I should have been able to control them, and I will in the future. I promise. May I ask what did you tell them that I'm going to decide after I've looked into the church situation? All right. That's why she nods. Take your time. Yeah. Can we talk for a minute? I was wondering when you'd come around. What's up? I guess there is something that's been making my life hell. What is it? She listens intently. I think it's the plight of the working class. Everyone's just mooching off the an entrepreneurial class, shackling the doers. I think it's all these foreign people taking our jobs. People just put people just keep putting their selfish interests ahead of the greater good. Uh, I think probably number one. Oh, really? The golem of capital runs rampant, smashing creator and slave alike. I fear the process is irreversible. So the thing that's just that, that's got you crying in front of strangers is social justice. Yep. Yep. I'm a social justice crier. I haven't seen much in this of this world, but from what I've seen, social justice is an adolescent term. Sounds almost liberal. What's got me shaken up is the people struggle. And it's just gotten me and it's gotten got me shaken up bad no that's probably not it is it yeah i'm pretty sure now i had some questions about something else entirely no that's probably not it is it no it sounds like you you've just got chick issues now that you mention it i find i found these letters i've thrown in the trash they might have something to do with it okay what do, why do you think that first they had just the faintest scent of chewing gum on them i could still smell it under the shit they were written in a woman's hand and oh boy did reading them make me make me not feel good there you have it then, chick trouble. Not political after all. Who was she? I don't remember. No idea. I haven't seen her. Definitely haven't called her. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> really? She appears to believe you. You seem pretty upset about this, chicka. Are you sure you don't remember anything about her eyes, hair color? I remember her scent and that's all. Wow, man. That's some pretty strange shit. She rubs her sides for warmth. Are you sure the letters were for you? Yeah, I'm sure. Would I have reacted so strongly otherwise? Come to think of it, the whore could have written them to her lover. I think number one. How come you don't remember though? Is it like some selective memory thing? Wait, what do you mean by selective memory? I think I think it's more about me getting so unbelievably drunk I completely erased all memory of this world. Yeah, or it might or it might be that. This one time I did so much booze that I forgot to. It's obvious she, it's obvious she's done more than booze. Or it might just be psych bullshit, you know. Conicstein wank. What is this Conicstein wank? All right, I had some questions for you. You know, the psych thing that they've got going on in there. Rich people like it. People in Conicstein are mostly rich. Thank you for, thanks for the bullshit psych thing then. You know, I'm not sure this made, I'm not sure this made things any better, number one. You're welcome. She thinks for a second, stretching her jaw. 
might be for the best to keep that shit forgotten though just my opinion if it itches don't scratch the others told you told me you went inside the church what did you see in there oh that you're not gonna believe me there's no point in me telling you she's less prone to blurring out crab man than the others <laughs> oh yeah the crab man like from two hours ago we'll see go ahead and tell me okay she nods i went in and saw a woman next to one of those machines there annoyed calls it a mainframe she was dressed like someone who's being raised by their grandmother, you know? Strange old clothes, had this absent expression, didn't say anything, just stood still. That's not especially frightening. And then, you know, right, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall, upside down like a crab. Down the church wall, I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor, then just hung there looking at me, right, right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out, end of story. <laughs> like a crab, you say? Like a crab, you say. The lieutenant nods, his face like stone. What did this crab man look like? I, I, I believe in the crab man. It was too dark. She shakes her head. I couldn't tell exactly. Come on, she, uh, she obviously could. She already went into detail. Come on, quit stalling on me. What did he look like? He looked like a banger, okay? He was all muscular and stuff. Had a mesh tank top. I know it sounds ridiculous, but uh, that only made it scarier in a way. Uh, Kim, this was probably me. A crab and a banger. The lieutenant raises an eyebrow. Yes, a banger in a, in a mesk gang... Mesca gang member as sorry as in a Mesca gang member. I know what it sounds like, but that's what I saw a gangster crab man Yeah, I don't believe you you were wrong. I do believe you shares an eyebrow why it seems too ludicrous for a lie I guess so she hesitates anyway. What else? I'd like to know more about your associates my associates. She blows on her chilled fingers I haven't got much to say about them just answer the question, please. What do you mean? You must know something about them. Of course I do. I just don't tell people about my friends and who they are and so on. I don't provide information on them to the cops. What about you? Tell me something about yourself. Me? I'm a silver bird. A silver bird feels strangely familiar. Was it an expression? And if yes, then for what? Then your mind slips and the thought is gone. Ah, okay. Maybe I'll ask about... Maybe I'll ask later about all this. Don't know what you think it'll be any different later, but... What's the device you have there? This, she breathes on her freezing fingers. It's a portable recording device. It's for field recording, low quality, but still. And the wires? Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to the contact to a contact microphone. What's a contact microphone? A contact mic records sounds from inside things like this ice. Your mangled brain would like you to know there is a boxer called contact mic. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Any news on my wife's name? How about my How about my mother? Nope. <laughs> You're welcome. Does this have anything to do with contact, Mike? Uh, she's confused. Yeah, I record stuff with it. No, I mean, really? We're committing? No, I mean the boxer contact mic. Ah, no. This is a contact microphone. It's for recording inside solid objects. Contact mic just beats people up. You know, contact mic doesn't just beat people up. Contact mic is a role model. Um, an entire litany. <laughs> right you should try to be more like contact mike a successful athlete and an inspirational figure who has overcome social physical and mental obstacles on second thought screw contact mike he's not a champion you are look at you here in front of a saggy tent picking your nose to drunk addict music the world of sports is in awe of your faith and dedication <laughs> We burst into tears in front of this girl an hour ago. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. There was something else I wanted to know. Number one. You, man, you were one weird cop. This isn't about me. This is about your lack of respect for one of boxing's greats. And for yourself. <laughs> you and this white guy. She pauses. The question is rhetorical. Okay. <laughs> Contact Mike and less like me. Yes, this does indeed float my boat. <laughs> what the fuck did on you? She turns to check her tape recorder. How does this thing work? The mic, I don't exactly know. Somehow it doesn't pick up vibrations from the air. The box said it only picks up structure born sound if you if you like techno babble. Where did you get the mic from? Same place I got the recorder from. The pause the Polyseum. 
what's the Coliseum? Oh man, you haven't been to the Coliseum? She regrets herself for a moment. It's the coolest place in this whole drug-addled shithole. It's a music club and a synthesizer workshop on Boogie Street in Jamrock. Musicians live there like real musicians. I once saw Arno Van Eyck. Thinking about it really cheers her up. It's a long way from here, though. Interesting. This, this the guy your friend Egghead likes? Oh yeah, Egg's really into him. Maybe even too into him. He's a pretty intense personality. Hey, didn't piss Foglet and fuck the world mention Van Eyck too? Is it like a skull thing? A skull thing? She shakes her head. Man, you sound like a hundred years old when you say that. No, you don't. She's mistaking you for an old person. Say you're cool. I get down. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I grind. I don't know what that means either. It means I'm hit by all my ears, nor do I, but I have concrete evidence that I, I rock in the form of, of a rec tape player and a completely trashed hostel room. That's cool. She breathes on her fingers. Looks like she doesn't know what to say. You're right. Time has deserted me. She looks at you oddly. Sucks, man. She squints her eyes for a second, trying to remember something. Then let's go of it. Was there something else about the contact mic, perhaps? Actually, I had some non-mic questions for you. Okay. What are you doing out here in the cor in the cold recording, I guess? And what is it you're recording exactly? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice, but there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps, too. Not sure how it will sound. She scratches her forehead. Wait, what happened to the headphones? My boyfriend sold them. What for? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. Which one of those is your boyfriend? A lie, they were probably pawned off for something s suspicious. And what are these recordings for? The cracks, the footsteps. The musicians in the Palisium use them for making music. They loop the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. Just nod. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be like a music place anyway. She rubs her shoulders and looks around. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. She looks at the recording device. The thing she thought would fill her hours with joy and escape is turning out to be an empty fantasy. She feels childish, very useless all of a sudden. Wait, take this, you're cold. The lieutenant begins to take off his jacket. No, man, fuck that, I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. It's okay, the lieutenant backs, backs, uh, backs up. He throws you a glance. Now this is where a hat would come <laughs> in. Give her your hat. Here, you need this more than I do. Item lost Dick Mullen's hat. Thanks. She puts it on. It's a bit large for her. I had some other questions. Conclude. Empathy. The tape recorder lies on the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. More like contact mic now. All right. That's it for now. Okay. Bye. She turns attention back to the recording device. All right. We need to put a hat on. Okay, I'm not even going to entertain the idea that we're not going to get the Litany of Contact Mike. So the only question is, what are we getting rid of for the Litany of Contact Mike? It's time once again to return to the 20 things you like to say about Contact Mike, the boxer who is apparently a paragon of open competition. It really doesn't get any better than this, any better, both inside and outside the ring. Stop, point at someone, someone in the distance, point your finger at him, he will point his finger back at you, vaulting an impassable gulf of finance and privilege too. So, nope, logic, minus one logic, minus conceptualization, minus drama, while we're researching it. No pain, no gain, push it, make it. All right, so what can we get rid of? In an inexplicable feminist agenda gets rid of electrochemistry, but gives us one empathy. All right, some kind of superstar, minus one logic, learning cap for visual. That's actually pretty good, actually. Um, one plus thing, that's pretty good, too. Volumetric shit compressor, learning cap for endurance raised to four, and all endurance white checks unlocked. So does that mean any, any endurance white check that we failed becomes unlocked? I think we can probably get rid of this one. Learning cap for endurance raised to four. What is our endurance? Oh, we haven't even raised that at all. Okay, let's let's forget it. Okay, there we go. We got it. The contact mic thought is really bad. I don't care. It's hilarious. I want to know. I want to know the ending of it. I don't give a shit. It's hilarious. All right, what, what's this? This check. The shaggy great hair. Need okay. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you gonna help us with the church? I mean. Uh, I'll help you. Okay. All right. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? We've been waiting for weeks here. If the thought is bad, Joe will reload. It will will reload game. Wow. Wow, I can't believe you. I can't be I can't I can't believe you've done this. 
Wow. Hear this? Hear that? That's me downvoting. <laughs> Some more empathy. <laughs> empathy. <laughs> uh. I think that's it. That's it for empathy. All right. Ninety-two percent. We. I think we would have failed if we hadn't changed our clothes. The device is still warm from, from her touch and heavy as a brick from the batteries inside. The company logo Omnicron adorns its yellow plastic cover. Inside the tape is rolling. The girl looks at the device in your hands. I'm sorry you have to sit here on the ice feeling miserable at your age or at any age in this weather waiting for it to get dark. She looks at you in the eye, her pupils wide, surrounded by a ridiculous amount of makeup. The people who built this world intended it to be better for you, but they failed. It is easier to live in their failure with this by your side. Tap on the tape recorder. The wind howls. She remains silent. It's real. Tell her. It is not a childish fantasy. It can be a real weapon against what's coming for you now. What is? Her, her shoulders shake a little. The dark. Nothing. If you got this, don't be scared. I'm once again reminded... <laughs> God, no, not more fucking contact mic bullshit. That was serious and wholesome for a second. No, I'm once again reminded of how God. Oh my god. The contact mic rose in the slums of St. Baptiste to the top of the boxing world, overcoming adversity and serious strain trauma. Nothing is coming. Nothing he wouldn't knock out in three rounds. The real fight is for the right attitude. That was sent. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to. I want. I want this to be a serious moment. I want. I want to go with one. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do contact mic. I can't do it. Number one. Number one. I no. I. Ha oh my god. Three. How is three serious? How is three serious? Number one, I know her teeth rattle. She tapes the device. She takes the device from you and places it in her lap. I'll stick to it. After a moment of silence, she speaks again. So thanks, I guess, for the psych, se psych session. I guess that means we're even. She smiles a little. Down votes are coming. All right, fine. You guys want to see what would happen? All right. It's it's a whole new world of saves coming. All right. I'll reload it to see what would have happened. All right. Oh shit, that was 20 minutes ago. Never mind. Never mind. No, we're not. Hey, if you want to see it, maybe you should buy the game and play it yourself and, and use and use the affiliate link for the game below the stream. Oh wait, I don't have that turned on. Because I'm just the best streamer. Please let us see it, please. Fine, okay, you know what? Fine. We'll just we'll just skip through all the dialogue. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll just skip through all the dialogue. But then I'll reload back to the other one. So like, seriously, what's eating you, man? Yeah, can we talk for a minute? Okay, how did we get there? This is when did you get an affiliate? I don't have one, it was a joke. Contact my 
fucking hell. The contact mic bullshit. <sighs> All right. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. All right. What is it? Empathy? All right. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What the fuck? How? <laughs> so you talked to my associates, right? Great. Let us know if there's any progress, Bill. Yeah. We've been waiting for weeks. All right. It's not Childish Fantasy, you can be real weapons, it's kind of free now. Okay, I once again reminded how Contact Mike rose from the slums of St. Batiste to the top of the boxing world, overcoming adversity and serious brain trauma. Nothing is coming, nothing he would knock out in three rounds. The real fight is for the right attitude. I can't believe this turned into another Mike thing. Fine, okay, I'll stick to it. She takes the advice from you and places it in her lap. I'll knock it out in three rounds. After a moment... <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. We reloaded for that. Was that worth a fucking moon, chat? Was that worth a moon? Was that worth a moon? Oh, I'm getting upvotes for this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Redditors. Thank you. Hey, Reddit. D-A-E think that reloading for that was worth it. Expecting downvotes for this, but I think safe scumming is the real way to play Disco Elysium. T-I-L people don't safe scum when they play Disco Elysium. D-A-E think that's kind of shit? Okay, we have 15 minutes left. I think if we go into the church, that's going to be like at least another hour. Le gold for this? Thank you, kind stranger. Let's call Abigail. I really I really want to know about the crab person, but Oh, that's the jacket. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Where was the dead guy? Is it too early for karaoke? That was gonna say, like, do we wanna go into the church real quick, see the crab man, and then go and do karaoke? Let's do that, let's do that. We'll, we'll definitely do karaoke. I just hope we don't get roped into an hour long conversation. All right, look, it, it, anyone who's played this game before, is this like is this like a boss level dialogue conversation in the church right now, or, or what? Hold on, I'll save, and if it gets too long, I'll just save scum out of here. Heavy wooden doors more than twice your height stands shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears to in stark contrast onto the padlock carelessly drilled into the wood. Inspect the carpentry. The carving on the door is block-like and angular like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. Run your hand over a beam. The surface is smooth from the wind but moist to the touch. Take a close look at the padlock. This cheap-looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together, it shackles together a hasp and is and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. Could I have like gotten through here with like the bolt cutters or whatever I have with the um, the the uh, the crowbar? Look at the sticker. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the sim but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it a smile, and the X's make it dead. There's something blindingly modern about this symbol. It, its modernness puts to shame everything you've seen before. What makes it so modern? It's the contrast between the cheery chemical yellow and the rigor mortis. As if, is it the Watchman thing? No, that's not it. The one at now was dead. And the, or that guy didn't care that he was. Either way, you get the sense that the forces of, of future are at work here. Have you seen the symbol before? Point to it. He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then he looks up and pauses and replies, No. What does it look like to you? It looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. 
Okay, what is junior delinquency? For Reverschulz, S-A-R, the moral intern defines junior delinquents as minors between the ages of 10 and 16 who have committed an act in violation of the law. These acts aren't called crimes as they would be for adults. Crimes committed by minors are called delinquent acts. This was part of your officer officer's exams. He puts the handkerchief in his coat pocket. What is suggestive of junior delinquency here? I haven't seen that sticker before and I am not a youth. <laughs> I agree, it's very modern, but does the cheery guy not know he's dead, or does the dead guy not care that he is? What is the source of the irony here? That level of conceptual, conceptual thinking is not part of my skill set. Try to peel off the sticker without ripping it. Wow, I, I am stunned that we actually succeeded a check. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. I know, it's really satisfying. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Put the sticker in your ledger after the last entry where it belongs. Put the sticker on your ledger, right on the cover. Secret task complete, stall your paperwork. Gain plus 10 experience, voila, looks very modern. You're part of the future brigade now, and so is your formerly humdrum, humdrum ledger. Neon, baby, open the padlock with the key. The lock turns easily, you hear a click as, as the shackle pops open. Let's go, the lieutenant nods at you, pull on the doors. As you do, you hear, you hear and echo of the doomed commercial area, its black halls and dusty machines, then the feeling passes. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing, it, rushing to fill a great vacuum in the heart of the city. Whoa. Okay, did that just like give a bonus to it? I was told there was a crab man. Is he a giant enemy? A strange stillness fills you as you look ahead. You should walk here, not run. Alright. The music. This grotesque wooden figure looks half finished. This figure was added later. It is not part of the original church. Oh, someone's crying. I really love the art in these types of games, in the isometric kind of RPG games. The environments can look so good. More of the fork lightning, lightning pattern you saw outside. Bark beetles? No, it looks intentional. Some long forgotten style. The blackboard is filled with complex equations that look recent. It's Leo. I wonder why he's crying. Oh no, we ran. A prayer book has been left open. Oh. A bowl is, the bowl is filled with water. A live wire runs darkly into it. Are they trying to make holy water or something? What the fuck? The silence in this part of the church, it's almost pal palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. <gasps> is it the crab man? And then it's gone, almost all of it. But for the faintest of hums. Oh god, the music just, just went out. It seems that sound here is detached from its source somehow. If not blotted out blotted out outright, truly unusual. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Yell as loud as you can, stomp your feet and clap your hands. Yes! You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. Yell as loud as you can. Your voice is barely audible, not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Turn to Kim, what's happening? Lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head, then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? Almost nothing, and it's beginning to worry me. Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. Can't hear shit. Number two. I wonder why the church was built with such strange acoustics. His attached tone conceals how uncomfortable he is. Maybe the church, this sounds like some supernatural to me, maybe the church was designed in this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Maybe they wanted to discourage singing and dancing. Hey, what if it's something paranatural? It's probably nothing. Let's go with conceptualization. Hmm, could be. He doesn't seem entirely convinced though. Look up into the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappearing, disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Nice! There's no way we can fail this! Are we gonna see a crab man?
No. Really? It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and is making its way toward you through all the other shadows. On the ceiling. Yes, the darkness makes it makes the feeling the ceiling feel infinitely far away. Follow the shadow's movements. It's not a shadow anymore, becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal descends. Officer, is there something up there? Lieutenant follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is you are seeing. Oh no, you've lost sight of it. Where did it go? Blink. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Maybe it's possible to talk to it? Hold on, L litany of contact Mike. Five thousand, five thousand to one rank outsider. No one saw it coming. The mantle of a game changer demands intangible qualities. Fights are not won. You're thinking instead of doing detective work right now. Fights are made blow by blow. Let's let's take it, Mike to the Mikey. Some low intensity part of you has entered a sports cliche driven fugue state, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. Also, Mike knew what it would what it took to win. He just wanted it more. All fizz white checks unlocked. Oh, that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. All right, so we'll replace that later. Useless. What the f Two decks of reel-to-reel -reel tape spinning on empty. This is so interesting. A portable Harman Washi tape recorder. It is po Is it possible it's recording something? Someone's siphoning electrical current from outside into this antenna. Okay, so, um, okay, so do you want, do you want to get end on karaoke or do you want to end on the crab man? Let's see how long it takes to talk to the crab man, but this might be all we do. The shadow is a man, but a man made of the same stuff as the carpentry of the building. He is studying you intently. The crab man. Hey, who's there? This is the police. Show yourself. Say nothing. Be quiet for now. Um, are you the crab man? <laughs> hey, who's there? The man leans forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, and speaks. I bet your alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. You've come to the right place. That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesca and a district in Jamrock. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking me Mescas in Revachal. Hold on, stop it right there. Pussy, what is this? I'm not scared. I just don't understand why the female sexual organs have to be associated with weakness. Hold your peace. You really got a case of free nerves. Pussy in this usage comes from pussilanimals. Everybody knows that. Everybody should know that. Um, oops. Chill out, man. Hero can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of the bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? I don't know. I kind of want to know how he got up there. I'm put off by this religious stuff too, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing too. I think I just added it to you earlier. It's all very hard to square with Lieutenant's own view of reality. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem and it's been getting out of hand lately, but I'm a policeman. I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use. <clears throat> oh, hell no, <laughs> run away. <laughs> Number this one. Does good, eh? I see deep inside you. Your body and spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgence and you don't even know it. Great. More patronizing. So original. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. How do you know what I'm feeling? I'm actually here on behalf of some young people looking to establish a nightclub. <laughs> oh, I'm very, very in touch with my suffering. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc every know is wreaking on your mind and your spirit. Necesitas parar, homie. Elvino. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. For some reason, I feel like I haven't drank anything. For some reason, I feel like you have a point. Who do you think you are? Some crazy guy under the roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. That's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of... Uh, 
ecclesiastic property. Siastic property. I can't say Siastic property. I can't say that word. For some reason, we really get a point no, there. Trust me. Trust them all. I'm all in a mess in your homes. Wasteland of reality. It's been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic and that it's a sickness and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knees through life, your booze filled belly dragging on the ground, your brain now fuzzy, now in overdrive, your hair sticking together with today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps the right, anything is better than this. Even bone dry reality itself, maybe you can quit. Damn. Can we quit? 20 hours. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the litany of contact, Mike. Goodbye, Litany of Contact, Mike. Internalize Wasteland of Reality. This is the Church of the Mother of Silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off for a game? Oh, I can't believe I just took away like Litany of Contact, Mike, like that. I could just reload it and save the uh, save the skill point. Tis not an act, my liege. Saving, perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. S you must be the crab man. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point the strange machines around you. You must be the cra None of these are good. You must be the crab man. Never know myself to be a crab, but if that's the name you've got for me, I won't stop you from using it. To be fair, it's really more like a spider. He considers this for a moment. I always thought of myself more like a flame, flickering along the rafters and beams. He pauses. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. That's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures and that satchel of tools over there. Wait, did you also carve all those sculptures? Sure am. Whittling wood used to be something I just did to busy my hands. Now I use those same hands in service of something greater than my own restlessness. All right, let's consider the context of meaning here. I see what you've done you, what you've done there. It's as if these figures are trying to become one with the church or perhaps with the mother herself. Rub your chin. You've got some nice curves going there. These seem a tad... <laughs> You're promoting the objectification of women with your reaction and depiction of female bodies. Honestly, I don't get it. All these figures look happening. All right, so that's, that's Art Cop. That's conceptualization, I think, and this and this is art cop. Um, fucking hell. Three, it's all just for the mother man. No need to overthink it. What were you before you became a crab man and a woodcarver? I was in a gang way, and my, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. Shake your head. So many people losing their memory. A certain portent of doom. I lost my memory too, and it haunts me. I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like it's great. A whole new me. Start again from scratch. He frowns. That's not really the point, Essay. You gotta give yourself over to service. Service of the mother, that is. Do you remember your name, sir? Tiago is my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity. Isn't isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak, your place among your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name's Harry. Extend your hand for a greeting. Well, he's way up top. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. He ignores your hand, his limbs a mere shadow below the ceiling. Okay, then. Thanks. See you later. Alright, let's do karaoke. Karaoke time, and then we're done the stream. Please fail the karaoke check, or are we gonna fail the check chat? Oh god. Have a poll whether we fail or not. What the- what the fuck check is coming up? What? What skill does it do? This is your 11th disco stream, and how much closer are you to solving the murder? What murder? Murder? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
All around you, rain falls on the great city of Ravishal. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters, washing the filth away. Oh man, look at this zooming out. Why can't we just do that all the time and double click to move? The spring must. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. Looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hat. What do I see? Gray sky, gray sky like great battleships. Clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. How does it feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your jacket grow heavy. The cold finds its way under your skin. You shiver and the city shivers with you. You're not dressed for this weather. You should get an overcoat or a patrol cloak. What's... Motherfucker. What is in the west? Sheets of rain over water. A flight of stairs leading into the ocean. Wave after wave washing the coast of Martinez with its motorboats and gently swaying reeds. The ruins of a half-sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet beyond the Bay of Revachal. Ghosts rise into the, in, into the sky. Who are you, ghosts? The skyscrapers of La Delta, the financial district. Faint golden light seeps from the office windows. Will you ever go? Will you ever go there? Will I? No. You are just one of hundreds of thousands who watch them rise across the bay from Arnais every day. What is down the shore? Urban coastline, rain dripping off eternite-covered roots, cinder blocks left over from half-finished construction, a defunct research and development building once seized by revolutionaries, an old and wooden church stands on stilts above the water, and beyond that, coal city, end of all lines. Run your fingers through your dampened hair. Your hair is an oily mess flecked with ash from neighboring coal plants. Smokestacks rise somewhere in the distance. What's in the east? There's a fritta on the corner. A plastic coat is folded into the small triangle under the counter by the window. Beyond that, the strike breakers have gathered. The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal trying to shake water from its hide. Clench your teeth and stop to stop the shuddering. Behind the gates, heaps of supply crates, red and blue metal shipping containers slick with rain. The Great Ravishalian Ind Industrial Harbor is an artificial mountain range. Immense wealth resides within, and, and, and immeasurable poverty in its shadow. And beyond that, Le Dressian, King's King Dress's passenger harbor, cruise ships flanked by dock arms, cranes watching over the mouth of the river dist distributary. What's across the distributary? Coron, the lower middle class. Distributary after distributary cuts the city blocks in half. Seven story buildings trail off into, into the rain. What's beyond the Coron? A silvery curtain of rain over the houses, the class divide. You have never been there. They don't need the law east of the river. What's in the north? Cape side apartments, tower blocks crowd one another, 4.46 millimeter bullets still lodged in their war-torn stone walls. Hallways collapse from the mortar hits of a war that was lost long ago. Clothes lines go to waste in the rain, radios play. What about contact Mike? The news at noon, and closer to here, a yard. Rain falls onto the roof of a woodshed. The lingering odor of decomposition mixes with that with that of damp soil. What's in the south? A traffic jam. Rain thrumming on the roofs of motor vehicles. Inside, drivers watch water streaming down their windshields. The statue of a king shudders. He too is cold. The canal, the canal bridge has been raised. What's on the other side? The road ascends. A raised motorway loops above the ghetto. Beneath its concrete columns, a sea of rooftops, woodwork, and tar stretches northward. Four-story buildings as far as the rain can fall. The snow melts in, melts in jam rock. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood at? A, 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 a fucking... DMX reference? What? Fuck it. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood at? Have a brother in the cut. Where the wood at? Why am I not there? To be in Martinez where no one goes, at the runoff point of the long f of a long forgotten canal, in the whitest part of town, in the shadow of the day, the revolution the revolution failed. What am I doing here? Standing in the rain, looking north, where Jam Rock's Jam Rock Rock City stretches inland. Jam Rock Rock City. Shudder. Look further. In the rain-swept distance above the rooftops of Jamrock, a, re a repurposed silk mill stands perched above the motorway exit. Precinct 41 hunches in the rain. Your vision blurs. You wipe your face with your head. The rain stings your eyes, making you look up and blink. What's above? Coalition aerostatics hang like apparitions under the cloud cover. Way up there where rain forms, rotors flutter silently. Your sight clears. Motherfucker. This rain will not let up anytime soon. I recommend you put your coat on. I have my coat on. Put on your coat and...
How do you like Shivers? Shivers is pretty good. <gasps> Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Okay. All right. First of all, first of all, have a bird. Can I help you? No, you know what? Let's let's make an ass of ourselves and then use the bird to smooth it over. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feel silent. You can hear the pellet, pellets crack, pellets creak under your feet. So, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. Drama? Oh, it's 92. There's no way we're failing. Look, Kim, I'm going to sing karaoke. Put your lips right against the microphone. Test it. Look, Kim, I'm going to sing karaoke. I can see that. Lieutenant steps away from the stage, ready for your performance. Put your lips against the microphone. Test it. Immediately, a loud feedback noise startles the room. You feel like an amateur. How are you supposed to hold the mic? Should you just sing into it? Where should you stand? Oh, no! Oh, shit! No! Look around the room first. There, there are some people out there, but most, but mostly a post-meridian slumber has fallen on the premise. Not super lively. It would be wiser to reform in the evening, no, but the choice is yours. Okay, can, can It is evening! It is evening! Can we put on some drama clothes? Hold on. Drama, drama, drama. We need to drama it up. The drama llama. Read until nine? No, I don't want to read. I don't want to waste time. Let's let's put this coat on while we do our karaoke. Oh my god, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. What is it now? Ninety-seven. All right, we can't fail now. We can't fail now. You just have to read for one hour and ten minutes. We don't have any books though, do we? You hold in your hand the color for primer. The title reads, a primer for small kids. There's a bear involved. Exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. This book will show you the score. Get you oriented with those basic concepts you appear to be hazy on. The anthropomorphic bear will give you the lowdown of your life. On what? The alphabet. Flip through the pages. Every page has one word designated to one letter of the alphabet with a faced illustra faded illustration. Wow, I need to read this book. Most of them are scientific and cultural principles. It goes as follows. Let's do this. A is for azimuth, B is for boreas, C is for cosine, D is for diamet, E is for ellipse, F is for phlogiston, G is for gamut, H is for homeboy, I is for icon, J is for jura, K is for collapse, L is for laudanum, M is for myriad, N is for nadir, O is for oriole, P is for perihelion, knots, yeah! Q is for quasar, R is for rodro rhododendron, rhododendron, S is for sinus, T is for tricolier, U is for ultra, V is for vector, W is for war height, X is for xylophone, Y is for yastava, Z is for zenith. That's it? That's it. You know the alphabet now. Great. In what is called the IL, the international language developed by scientists from grad in the 20s, sinus means sign, for example. Kim, I know the alphabet now. Good. I also know the alphabet. It is very use It is a very useful skill to have, he thinks, for all sorts of life activities like reading and put the book, put the book away. All right. Um, filthy jacket. This filthy rag has been in the mercy of elements for quite some time. It's streaked with seagull shit and abnormally stiff from God knows what natural processes. You can't even tell what brand it is. As you hold it in your hands, it makes an uncomfortable crunching sound. Man, how did this jacket get so disgusting? It's a sordid and filthy tail, not for the weak. Are you sure you can stomach it? Think about it. It occurs to you that you're not even holding the jacket itself, but rather the thick crust of jetsam and seagull shit that ensconces it. It smells like a dead sea creature, tangled in gray strands of seaweed. It must have spent quite some time in the water before the tide deposited ashore. Gross. Okay, what is the crest made of? Somehow it was carried or dragged to the boardwalk, if not by human hands, then, perha then perhaps the feral dogs prowl the beaches at night. 
the faint impressions of many footprints are also present, though it's impossible to tell what kind or how many. Suffice to say, the jacket spent some time on the ground before someone dra draped it over the railing. Okay, that's pretty disgusting. I've had enough. What happened? What happened once someone put on the railing? The crust is hard. This jacket spent at least a day baking in the sun. Who knows what happened to it then? Somewhere high above the city, a pair of seagulls traced loops through the air. They are like the bombardiers of the aerostatic brigade, gliding above a target-rich environment. All of a sudden, the bomb bay doors open, and their white glittering payload rushes to the ground. Splat, an explosion of white on a man's shoe. A curse goes up, but the birds do not hear. Why did I just spend all this time thinking about seagull shit? It's too late, you've already thought about it, and now your hands are covered in the muck. Ew, 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 flick your hands. Maybe if I wipe my hands on my pants? Now you've just flicked that shit everywhere. This is a disaster, you'll never get the smell out. Nice. Nice. Apricot chewing gum wrapper, a gleamy chewing gum wrapper found in the pocket of the laborer jeans. It goes off and never so fanny. Read ledger. We already read the ledger. There's nothing left to read in the ledger. There is... There it is again, the scent of apricots with a touch of cinnamon. It smells like the end of some distant summer, the surface of another planet, or some ancient temple. Ancient temple? Yes, from the height of antiquity, a long, long time ago. Millennia ago, on an island of time you could never return to. End of summer. The sun sets into the sea, but the water does not boil. Instead, it turns to liquid gold. For a moment, the world's store of precious metal seems to increase dramatically, and you are rich. There is a movement next to you, the shuffle of a small coat, warm like the evening, but when you turn toward it, there is nothing there. Where did it go? Why are you talking to a gum wrapper? Take a deep, deep breath. Bitter, citrus sweet, it seems to grow stronger, like a glow with every breath you take. Whatever petrochemical byproducts they use to create this artificial flavor have bonded tightly to the wrapper, or is, it, is that just your memory filling in the gaps? What? Until a blossom of skin and flower petals erupts in, in behind, in behind, in behind of your closed eyes, erupts in. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, made of made of toffee cream and distance. You just you just had to take a dive. It feels so so familiar. Put the wrapper away. You found a trace of a trace of entity. You have found a trace of entity who's been stalking you across the plains. The gloom stalker, the conglomeration, the shadowy organize, organization behind the downfall, possibly connected to the dreaded X something. Granted, it is impossible to determine its true identity, but you can remember where you first smelled its treachery. Yes, use the tutti fruity gum wrapper. Reconstruct the day you first breathed in her, in her untrustworthy atoms. Oh man, I really wanna, I really wanna do this. What should we get rid of? Rereading it skips time. Yeah, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste time. Like I don't mind using the time on something new. I don't wanna waste it. Um, how long do we just have to do like until, until seven or what? Can I help you? Guard, I found a new bird for the whirling given the, the, the rough, the roughed grouse. What is this thing? The man takes the stuffed bird. It's no biggie. I just thought it would look nice on the wall. I'm that kind of cop. I wanted to apologize for breaking the great school by bringing you this, this roughed grouse. Okay. He inspects the bird somewhat suspiciously then mellows. Okay. Well, this is actually a nice bird, a competent piece of taxidermy. I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. He hesitates. So I don't know. Thank you. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with thank you. People don't know how to accept gifts, especially taxidermy. He likes it. He likes the bird. It solves his broken bird problem. I feel good about our work here today, Lieutenant Nods. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. It's it's not actually about that, but he liked it. Okay, that did a minute. Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. I ran to your husband on the coast. The old woman clasped her hands together over her blankets. Her blanket. Goodness, how is he? Did he say why he hasn't returned yet? He's fine, ma'am. As he, as we had suspected, he couldn't get back earlier because the water lock on the canal was broken. Now he's just finishing up some work. Oh yes, that's my moral. He's bound to catch a cold staying out there for so long. 
but I'm so relieved to hear that he's okay. Thank you for putting an old woman's heart at ease, even if a little. You haven't, however. There are dangers out there. Our aging bodies fail. Our heart, her heart won't rest until Moral is safely back with her. You never saw me seen the plasmid. Oh, you don't want to hear about some old woman's ramblings. No, I really want to know. You lied because you wanted Moral to be impressed with you. No, I really want to know. Reflexively, Lieutenant Reddy's his familiar notebook. Well, it was summer, she starts. I was building a racing track out of sand on the beach. What? Near a tall stand of reeds. Quite a tall one. Many times my height, I remember. When all of a sudden, wait, where was this and how old were you? Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was five and a half in Benton Court in the suburbs. My grandmother had a summer home there. She just started forming memories, real memories, not the billowy haze of infanthood. What happened? The strangest movement of my life. I looked up and one of the reeds moved. Not... Moment, sorry. Not like a plant, but like a living thing. It stood up and looked at me. Its body unfolded like some antique toy. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't know this could happen. So I reached my arm and touched the thing. It felt just like a stalk of reed, but it moved, swaying, towering above me. She looks at you. After a while, 20 seconds, a minute maybe, it left, went into the reeds. Did you follow it? I tried, but I was only a child. There was mud and high water. I couldn't see it anymore. I was just standing there, knee-deep in mud, looking around me. Where did you go? Don't... Where did you go? Don't go. Then what? I ran back home to my grandmother and asked her if reeds could walk and told her that... And told her they were looking at me. She chuckles. Of course, she just laughed at me, but I knew what I'd seen. For years, it was a story I told at parties when I wanted to impress boys. That sort of thing. She brushes her hair back. What? Of course, most people just took it as a strange amusing anecdote. So did I, honestly. But then I met Moral. We were on our first date when I told him my story. You should have seen his face. She smiles. He said, my descriptions match the phasmid down to a T. It's white marble limbs, the way it moved. You were on a date? Our first, yes. The woman... The old woman sighs tenderly. The sigh is tender, yes, but tempted by some, tempered by something else. A thought she can't express. Interesting. Its, whims, its limbs are white. Not all of them, as far as I remember, but some of them on the inside, like stalks of marble, if that makes sense. How big was it? It's quite hard to say how big things are when you're quite small yourself. To me, it seemed to be taller than I was then, but that's probably not the case. What if it is the case? Maybe you imagine it, Lena? Of course, I've thought about it, but Moral says my report matches with the others, and I'm sure I hadn't heard of the Phasmid as a child, nor had my mother or my grandmother. So how did I know what to imagine? It was only when I started telling my story as a teenager that boys would tell me, Lena, she lowers her voice, imitating a boy. You're trying to tell us you saw the Insulidian Phasmid out there in those reeds? Get out, get out of here, she smiles. They just give me a cider and ruffle my hair and tell me to stop dreaming, but I saw it. Kim, what do you think of this? I thought it was a wonderful story, ma'am. He closes his notes and gives her a simple smile, but I don't believe it. A child left unattended on a warm day. Children make up stories and end up believing them. Thank you for sharing this with me. You're welcome, sweetie. I do appreciate the chance to, to relive it whenever I get one. It was just, she sighed, such an impossibly sunshiny day, so warm, and she could get up there and walk right into the reeds on her own, into the mud, anywhere. That's all. All right, so I need to do half an hour. All right. Can we just wait on the bench? I don't think we can because Kim is with us, right? Yeah, we can't. All right. Um, call station. Yeah, we're supposed to call the station about something, right? Maybe that'll do. I don't mind going over. We didn't stream yesterday. Like, I, I, I want to avoid as much as possible, but I don't mind doing this for now. Pick up the radio again. Uh, I need to report a dead body on the Martinez boardwalk. One moment, you can hear shuffling through some papers. Can you please describe the body, age, sex, cause of death? An unidentified middle-aged man, height 170 to 175 centimeters, dark hair, medium build. Looks like he slipped, fell through a hole in the boardwalk and hit his head against the metal bench. Wow, below below six feet, what a man lit. We suspect he might have been inebriated when he fell. There were bottles all around him and traces of vomit on his shirt. Any signs of violence? No, it seems like he, it was an accident. There might be a sequence killer on the loose. No, it was an accident. No field autopsy necessary, she repeats. You can hear her quickly typing in the background. What about his belongings? Did you examine his clothes? He was wearing boots, trousers, and an old leather jacket with a bright blue lining. I found a library card from his pockets. Any information on the library card? It's from Central Jamrock Public Library. It belongs to someone named Billy Magine. Good, you have a lead. Do you and Lieutenant Kitsuragi want to take the case, or should I sign it to someone else? We're taking the case. I have assigned the case to Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi. Please follow up on this, on this library lead to identify the man. We'll send someone to take the body to the morgue. 
That's all for now. Thank you for reporting in. Is there anything else I can do for you? Connect me to the Jamrock Public Library. I'm afraid they're closed. Oh, no, it says here the library is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We should try again during business hours. All right, that's it. All right, cool. So we need to kill another another 23 minutes. Okay, are you, are you sure that I can't... It's not evening now, maybe? Like, no? Oh, here you go. Now it's evening, right? This is evening, isn't it? Okay, so same same rules apply on the inverse. If it's a 3% check and we succeed, then we get empty hands. All right, I'll empty the hands. Maybe that maybe that matters. I'll empty the hands. All right. And hands are empty. All right. If it's if it's three percent chance and we succeed, I'll I'll take a million off Ayaya. Of if it's ninety seven and we fail, I'll take a million off Ayaya. Of but we're not gonna fail. It's ninety seven percent. Here we go. The bar is full and buzzing with chatter. No one is paying paying any attention, but you still feel your knees turn to noodles. Okay, now a couple's looking at you. Even worse. All right. Here we go. Oh, critical success. Damn. The air is thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. Okay, here we go. I would often go there. What? To the tiny church there. Is Lizard Blaine? The smallest church in San San. Though it once was larger. How the realm may rest there. Down through the mist there. Toward the seven sisters. Toward those pale cliffs there. Let's get some more sevens in the chat, boys. I would often stay there. In their tiny yard there. Good song. I have been so glad here. Looking forward to the past here. But now you are all alone. None of this matters. It hurts my throat no, just to listen to this. None of this matters. When's Snow Halation gonna start? At all. I would often go there to the tiny church there. The smallest in St. Sands, though it was once larger, how the rill may rest there, down through the mist there, toward the Seven Sisters, toward the, those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there, in their tiny yard there. I would have been so glad here, looking forward to the past here, but now you're all alone, none of this matters at all. Thank you, Ancient Reptilian Brain. A lazy applause fills the room. You feel your hands shake as awareness of your body returns to you. Thank you, Ancient Reptilian Brain. I want to dedicate this song to whoever wrote me that fucking letter. I still love you. Thank you very much, asshole. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this song to my partner, Kim Kitsuragi, not to the lieutenant. I'd like to dedicate the song to Gart for letting me sing it. It's all shit, Gart. I'd like to dedicate the song to the Pale. Nothing that will devour. Nothing that will devour the world. I'd like to dedicate the song to the RCM. Please don't fire me. I want to, I want to get it on anyone. I performed it for myself. 
if I say thank you, Ancient Reptilian Brain, do I get to do another choice? Because that's a thought, and then I get to speak. Because I want to dedicate it to uh, I want to dedicate it to Kim, because Kim's best boy. So do I get to, do I get to do like one and another one? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, thank you, Ancient Reptilian Brain. There's silence now in the deep where the voice came from. It has receded to return only in dreams and nightmares. This guy really carried you. I'd like to dedicate this song to my partner, Kim Kitsuragi, not to Lieutenant. Lieutenant doesn't say anything, but gives you a quick smile before turning away. Oh, he's being Sundari! Good, good. The cafeteria manager intervenes to cut the moment short. Are we ready? I want to unplug the microphone now. Any last last words? Evening will come. We will sew the white sail. Workers of the world unite. <laughs> Thank you, Martinez. <laughs> say nothing. Leave enigmatically. We did it. We did it. Did you like my singing, Kim? Yes. All right. We did it, Reddit. Speaking of Reddit. What happens if we fail? Okay, first of all, we take off all of our clothes, apart from the bow tie and the glasses. Oh, it gives drama. Okay, never mind. It was drama that we need, right? <sighs> Necktie? That's the scarf. Where's the necktie? I'm being blind. Shit. There it is. There you go. Perfect necktie. Alright. So let's quick save. <gasps> oh, it's a holy shit! What? What? We got double sixes when we went to when we went to, to fucking succeed and we got double ones when we wanted to fail. Holy shit, that was Oh man! What the fuck? We would have failed 97. I didn't even need to take the clothes off. Holy shit! The air is thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. A lumps a, a lumps in your throat suddenly. emotional to me towards the seven sisters towards those pale cliffs now I would often stay there I just swear was wrong I, I think I do too this is lucky seven shit I think I do I have Looking forward to the past here. <laughs> but now <laughs> you are all alone. None of this matters. <sighs> and Still gonna dedicate it to Kim. <laughs> 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 
Did you hear that? It's the most pathetic applause in the world, Harry. Made of pity. No one liked you. <laughs> oh man, we're we're Bernie, and the and the and the crowd is Hillary Clinton. Say you didn't like it, huh? I'm here here saying my fucking heart out, and it's and it's good enough for you, fucker. <laughs> Fuck you, I gave you my fucking best. I gave it everything and you shit on me. <laughs> Two. You hear or think you hear uncomfortable shifting around, a bit of laughter, maybe no one's saying anything. Um, I'm gonna unplug the mic now, okay? You don't know what good singing is. This is real singing. I sang about real stuff. That's it, I'm unplugging it. He presses the top on the tape carousel. You hear a little whine of feedback and then the mic dies in your hand. Let's go, officer. Lieutenant closes his notes. These people wouldn't know a good performance if it bit them in the ass. You liked it? Detective Dubois, he, he bows lightly. It was downright tragic. Now let's go. I mean, I mean it, he thinks. To him, being a cop in the RCM was truly expressed in that performance. Put down the mic. Kim is best boy. Yes. Best boy, Kim. Wow. Just wow. I hope you really enjoyed yourself up there. Had a cathartic experience. Because for the rest of us, that really sucked. As if to say, this is about your karaoke performance. Fuck you, I have a vast soul and she will always come back to it. Yeah, I sucked up there. I'm sorry. I don't understand. You don't understand my performance. Those high notes, I purposely shredded them to convey a strained, worn-out sadness. I get it. You were purposefully shit. So original. I'm not letting anyone up there again, ever. Now what do you want? Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. Again. I can't believe this. Yes? What is it? I bet you liked that, didn't you? Let's be honest, that was some first-rate karaoke. Uh, okay, yes, that was pretty good. What? No, 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 no. The man with sunglasses shakes his head stubbornly. There are universal standards of, of good out there, and that, that was complete shit. Oh, man, you, th oh, shit. The objectivity police are here. Jean, she quietly interjects, giving you a compassionate side glance. He's not right. Treat him like you treat McCoy's little brother. Lieutenant Double, you're free to draw an archetype McCoy's younger brother, Lance McCoy, although a man of 32 years will mentally never surpass a six-year-old. Wait, what? John, Lance? Who are these people? No idea, just passing on information stored in your fractured neural cortex. From within your mind haze, you hear the end of a sentence, and I'm not going to pretend like he's got a learning disability. Hey, I'm standing right here. Yes, and I'm wondering why. Don't you have a case to solve? Yes. Did you want something from me? All right, is there anyone else that we can talk to? I've got nothing to say to you. Did you like my karaoke? The clowns are still hanging around. What is it now? No. All right, is that it? Nope. So that's it. Okay. So let me reload to make sure I, I remember that we do that we do the other path. And let's do one final poll, and then we'll be done for the day. All right, who is better, chat? The ancient reptilian brain or the limbic system? There we go. Who sang it better? As a singer, singer or a character, I don't like like which whichever one you enjoyed the most. Like, what did you think was the best performance of that? Damn, it's pretty close. What were they the same song? Yeah, it was the same song.
Brain was better. Limbic was more fun. All right, and while that goes on, thank you to some people that I've got way behind on this. Thank you to Ralph Bloggs, 100 bits. Better check with Lily real quick if the kids retroactively don't exist because you're a Redditor now. <sighs> wow. Wow. I am I am le sad now. I have been le downvoted. Thank you, Wanye Quest, for the 11 3 sub. Dab with me on three, Joe. One, two, three. Aw, oh, man, you are no fun. No, 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 no. I don't dab for free. I only dab for monocoins. And for Lily if she asks me, but Lily doesn't ask me. Thank you, Anya Quest. Dark Flash is using bits to say, I heard you were in contact with Mike. <laughs> Upset are using bits to say, T-I-L about contact Mike. Ralph God is using another 100 bits to say, I would tell a joke about contact Mike, but I can't think of a punchline. Oh, damn. Uh, thank you, Vaulty Sama, for the new Silver Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the karaoke crew. Thank you very much. Thank you, Flame Princess Main, for the new sub as well. With Prime, welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the sub Reddit. Uh, thank you to Sulfi for the two month resub. Have a nice stream and a lot of fun. Going to be a VOD boy now. Please enjoy the VOD. And I hope you get to this point to hear me saying thank you, Sulfi. Thank you very much, or Sulfi. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Waskies, for the 100 bits. Keep streaming. I need more mono coins. Oh, man. What if you don't have enough mono coins by the 29th to do a, to do a AI at cash in? Have you thought about that? What if you're only like a thousand off? Oh man, that would be awful, wouldn't it? Thank you, Oskis. Uh, thank you, Lunar Flyby for the 100 bits. Putting on a mesh shirt for the karaoke performance. Cough for Kim. Cough is a true gamer moment. <laughs> uh. All right, how, how about this? On the 29th, Maybe we'll have a uh, we'll have we'll have a special monofoin mo monocoin fun category for people that aren't at twenty thousand. What do you think about that? To make it fair, so people can contribute. Fair is fair, right? Fair is fair. Mono fun. Uh, someone did a cash in for something. Oh no, they didn't. It's just my my list is bugged. All right. So ancient reptilian brain one. Congrats to you, Ancient Reptilian Brain, but it was pretty close. Anyway, that's it. Uh, were there any questions or comments that I missed throughout the stream that were asked a bunch of times that anyone would like to, to say real quick? And I'll... Um... Bitrate is unstable right now. Oh, man. What the fuck? Whoops. Do you know karaoke is a weeb word? Is it really? I do, I do not know the origin of the word karaoke. You should take one mono coin off the IFN to trigger everyone's OCD in chat. <laughs> Do you want to join our movie movie night tomorrow? What movie night are you guys doing? What are you watching? I, w I would love to, but I don't think I have the time right now. Will you play I Al, Al the Sominium Files? At one point, yeah, we will play it. Yeah, for sure. Enough people have asked me to play that that we'll probably play it at some point. I think karaoke is Japanese for empty orchestra. Oh, that's kind of nice. Is the new Danganronpa game coming out this year? Death March Club, is that this year or is it next year? New Danganronpa. Well, it's not. Okay, it's by the same people that made Danganronpa, and it is a killing game, but it's it's not Danganronpa. It's like, at least they say. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if halfway fucking fucking what's his nuts shows up. But yeah, it's the same concept, and it's the same people. Although we do not have an exact uh, final release date for Death March Club, yet the game is widely expected to come out in tw sometime in 2020. Okay, it'll probably be delayed. <laughs> anyway, that's that's it for me. Uh, this was a pretty fun stream. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back on Saturday uh, for the Q and A with Lily, uh, kids permitting, and as you can, like you know, you can hear them crying already. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we can't promise that the Q and A will happen, but we, as always, we try. 
Um, and apart from that, we'll be back on Tuesday next week. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you very much. See you guys later. Have a good weekend. Poor baby Kate. See you guys later.